What did it say? I'm just amazed that so many people actually believe that someone left a noose in Bubba Smullett's NASCAR garage. Not Bubba Smullet. Wallace. Bubba Smullet. Smullet. But Jesse. But Jesse. Jesse. Just, got, justice for Jesse. She got the wrong man. She got the wrong black I, man. I mean, really, people? It's 2020, folks. Anytime someone claims an old-fashioned noose was used, there is a 99.999999999% it's a hoax. What? That's a bad, that's a bad, that's a bad grammar error right there. It's a bad you, look on Candace. That's a bad, super bad look on Candace. I mean, you can take it wherever you want. If I find a piece of rope anywhere near me in a white dominated sport, I'm going to look at them like this. Who did it? Listen, <laughs> not even who did it. I'm, I'm going to look at my man to the left be like this. Is that a noose? That look like a noose to you? And if he tells me yes, I'm going to sit there be like this. Man, they really hate black people. It's 2020. Like she said, it's 2020. And people are still out here telling other people that they're going to raise their white grandchildren to hate blacks and people of color. It's yeah. 2020, though, Candace. It's 2020. That's 2020. totally like normal. That's normalized behavior, if you ask me. Normalized behavior. That's, that's the sad part. What the heck? Form productive relationships. I ain't forming no productive relationships with my police department until I understand that they have my safety. I understand that they have my safety, you know? Um, right. And ask black people why they don't like the cops. I'm going to just look at you for the last 60 plus years and tell me why black people should like police officers. No, nah, like for real talk, bro. Now, let me ask you, why should we like police officers? Yeah, why should we? All right, I'll wait. I'll wait. I've only been taught to fear cops my whole life. Why is that? Because they lie. They abuse our people. They come into our neighborhoods, flooded it with drugs. Wrongfully arrested us because we fit descriptions. We've mm. been over-policed. We've been lied to and led astray. Mm-hmm. In some cases, I, and I would never say we were done worse than like Native Americans. I really feel bad for Native Americans. Like your land was taken away. Like you were here first. They took your land and put you on some of the most unusable grounds in the world, or in the Literally. country, for that matter. Literally put you on the most unusable grounds in the country. Like you can't even cultivate there because the ground is so hard and dead. But hey, you know, y'all don't got to pay they, taxes. And and they did that for a reason too. They always I mean, it always happens for a reason. Like, it does. Like, the land was stolen, and you have the nerve to tell somebody else to go back to their country. Like, I was born here. Mm-hmm. My family was born here. What about yours? When did you, when'd your family move here? Mm-hmm. Oh, the, oh, the 30s? Mm-hmm. Okay. We've been here since 1619. Fuck out my face. I'm trying to listen to that bullshit. I love that argument. I love it. Like, go back home to Africa. Like, you go back home to wherever <laughs> you came from. When your family, when your family migrate here, they give me hit me with anything in the 1900s. Most of them like this. Ah, I, well, my family was born here. They've been here since 1619. Some, some before that. <laughs> so I'm gonna, so I ask you this: Who has the head start now? Yeah, that's what don't ask us. Sit down. I can't stand it, bro. I don't. Mm-hmm. It's not like I hate cops. I just don't like cops, bro. I don't like cops. I understand that they're people. I understand they go through a lot of things. But don't sign up for a job where you need to make split second decisions that could either harm somebody or be a detriment to their life for the remainder of their life. Or end their life. That too. You could definitely kill somebody if you wanted to at any given time. Mm-hmm. And just know that one of two things are going to probably happen. Either they're going to suspend you with pay or suspend you without pay. And then more than likely, they're going to bring you back. Or they're going to go somewhere else where they can. Also, oh, yeah, you're going to or get you worse. Else. Yeah, one of the two. AKA Cleveland, Tamir Rice. I still will never get over that case to the day I die. I don't care who you are. Yeah. I'm going to always bring that shit up. <laughs> always. Is Sean King black? Have we answered this question yet? Who? Sean King. Is he black in any way, shape, or form? I don't know. Got to check. Fact check. He 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 looked mixed. Let me pull up. His political party was he was a Democrat until 2016. What is he now? Let 
Is it, it's Wikipedia. I need to know. Why is he no longer a Democrat? What's up, Sean? What happened? What you learned that we don't know? He sent to Morehouse. Okay. Okay. He did go to Morehouse College. He was raised in Kentucky. I did not know that. He went to Arizona State and got his master's in what, though? He left the Democratic Party. I don't know, I don't know if he's Republican. Republican? Independent? Is he a, Federalist? He's probably, a he's probably, he probably, look, his name is Sean King. He probably took the King route and was like this. I'm independent now. I'm like, all right, bro. From Kentucky, so I think he's from the, like, the worst part of it, like the hillbilly part of Kentucky, too. Which is, yeah, he's probably from like the hillbilly part of Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's never too late, bro. It's never too late. When did you graduate from Morehouse? The 90s? 2002. 2002. No. Yeah, 2002. Yeah. He got his master's degree in 2018. It's never too late to go back, people. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to take away from this. He earned his master's degree two years ago. Yeah, it's never too late to go back. ASU. That's a nice school, though. I like Arizona State. It's cool. It's hot. Nah, but it's cool. I mean, it's Arizona. It's gonna be. It's dry though. It's not gonna be like. It's not humid. Mm. It's hot. Hot is hot. It's hot, is hot. <laughs> hot is hot. I just wanna like yeah. When is he like? What does he recognize himself as? Identify as no. If he's not Democratic, I need answers. I need answers. Right, regardless, though, I think I've looked into Sean King enough at this point. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, apparently baseball is back. I didn't know that. They are? Mm-hmm. Oh. I think I think baseball is back, if you're interested in that. Sports? In other news, um, I'm playing on <laughs> Baseball, it's officially a go. 60 games. They're going to cut out 100 games. How many games have been? Sixty. That's the game plan. All right, Tigers might. Plan. Tigers might go to look all the way. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of <laughs> Tigers here. might go all the way. Sixty games. Yeah, they, you gonna say maybe like this? Damn, bro, y'all ready to see like a a a, a three month baseball season? <laughs> hey man, anybody's got so a I chance? Think, I think yeah, I think they're planning to start in July. Yeah, they'll probably yeah. end in October. They'll probably stick with the original timeline, which, which is kind of trash. I feel bad because, you know, with the NBA trying to extend their seasons to the end of October. It might not happen now. Yoki. I'm like, I'm like, just stop the season, man, at this point. If it, if it gets into August, like. <laughs> no, nah, like, they were, like, bring it back in July, and they're going to do, like, the little playoff games and then the tournament style. And the tournament is supposed to go on until, like, October or somewhere around there. Maybe September. It's supposed to go on for a little while. And then, then they have to start over again. I mean, October, right? No, nah, no. Nah, they were gonna, they were gonna push the, the, the league start date back. Oh, it's like December. Or like, yeah, so like opening day might have been Christmas. Like been low cool. key, low key. I would, I don't, I wouldn't mind opening day being Christmas. No, one I would not mind it being Christmas because it's kind of like if the football season starts on time, bro. You get football from September or whatever till February. And then, you know, the basketball season just started, so you're two months in. So now we got an all-star break in summer, or like almost summer, right? Mm-hmm. Which makes travel destinations that much better because now people ain't got to freeze in fucking Chicago. Still might freeze in Chicago because, you know, no, actually, spring, spring in yeah. Chicago is still cold. I mean, like yeah, all, all-star game is going to be in, in, in Cleveland or Indianapolis. Oh, that's even better. All-star game in the spring? Man, we can make some trips out of that. You heard me. The only, thing heard? That, like, the only thing that with that is like interference with baseball is way too much, if you ask me. And the WNBA might not get a se- might not get a season this year, which I don't, which I really feel bad about. They just came up with that. They just got that new CBA. Yeah, because yeah, because if you move the NBA season back, they won't have enough time to have a WNBA. The WNBA they play on the same season. court. Yeah, same courts or colleges. Then, I, then I think if you're in LA, you definitely ain't gonna get no time. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. What they play at the Staples Center? It's over. Yeah, they got both both NBA teams. Hockey's not coming back, so it might. Yeah, you know that's, that's kind of sad, okay. I mean, but, I guess if they could like move it to the hockey arena, they can. 
wherever that is. And LA, no, no, LA. no, they play the same. They play the Staples. They do play the Staples, don't they? Yeah. I feel so bad. That you know, sucks. I mean, the WNBA season is only like three months long anyway, but still, bro, it just sucks. I didn't I know the NBA work. season was that long. I mean, WNBA. Me they only have like – they have less than 20 teams in the entire league. They might not have more than, no more than 15, to be honest with you. Oh, it, it starts uh, May 24th, ends October 10th. So, yeah, that's not long. It's a five-month season, so it's not long at all. I like I actually enjoy watching the WNBA finals because I'm sitting there like this, like, yo, this is actually pretty good. This is some very good basketball. I just wish the stands were full. Like right. you got players talking about they won't play. Hmm. But you got a bunch of players that talk about skipping the season. It's not worth it. I mean, it's not. If you were if I was playing. There's only twelve teams in the WNBA. Yeah, twelve. It's been around for like damn. Yeah, I don't know who's the Indiana Fever. <laughs> yeah, they got a team, the Fever. Uh, one of the, uh, the I'll, Washington I'll Mystics. The Mystics, yeah. Uh, the Phoenix Mercury, LA Sparks, um, the New York Liberty. Man, for the Lynx, of course. I think yeah, the the Liberty's the only one I know, and the Chicago Sky and the Sun. Las Those Vegas the only Aces. Ones I know. Yep, Chicago Sky, the Las Vegas Aces. Yeah, but uh, the Aces, Aces, yeah. Aces got a cool color. I like, look, Las Vegas got a great color scheme, bro. The gold and black, I fuck with it. The they did the same Storm. thing with the Kings. <laughs> yep, Shadow Storm is fire. Uh, what, are, what other teams are there? The Lynx. Atlanta got a team, I believe. I can't Atlanta remember the name. Dream. Atlanta, team. Atlanta Dream. My favorite bad, my favorite WNBA player played there for a long time. The Dallas Wings. <laughs> yep, the Dallas Wings. <laughs> the Dallas Wings. The Dallas Wings. 34 games. Yeah, it's not it, it's not a long season at Brittany Griner. There's a lot of big stars there. Like, we, about to go, big stars. we about to go 34 and 0, baby. Detroit used to have a team. Don't 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 do that to me. What? We ain't got one. That's a, don't do that to me. <laughs> we have an we have an arena the football team. I so saw that when I went to Wells Fargo. I was like, what? Arena football? The Philadelphia Soul, baby, we out here. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, that's this, this kind of works. This kind of works out. This kind of works out for some people. I mean, the draft to me now is kind of pointless because now these players don't even get to play. Like those new, uh, those rookie players don't get to play. But it kind of yeah. helps like those players who got hurt prior to the season, like um, Brianna Stewart. She tore she tore her Achilles right before. Um, who else? It was another big star. She plays for the. Not a big star, but she was a key member from one of the young, from the one of the newer teams, the Aces. She tore her Achilles. Let's not have a season. It's just like this might not be the year for sports, bro. It's okay. Let's just not have a season. Yeah, people want to go ahead and play. People can go ahead and play. If they don't, they don't. Just understand, y'all short staff, bro. Y'all short staff. I better bring up some of these dudes from on two way contracts and be like this. Hey, look, bro, we'll pay you a million dollars for the next three months. Shoot. Say less. I'll take that. I'll take that M. I'll easily take this M. Shoot. Is a uh, uh, big three coming back? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Just, uh, big three, right? That stuff was lit. I love. I wanted to go check it out. I want to go watch a game so bad. Man, I'm telling you. I was like, right, like, I was sitting like a, the first row from the court. Ice Cube yeah. was literally sitting right there. Yeah. I was like, bro, let me be a Friday five. <laughs> let me get a piece of the team. <laughs> I don't think they, have, they don't have any recent news on the big three. Yeah, me, I don't see it. They Clyde Drexler is <laughs> a commissioner. Yeah, they don't have any. They like they have all like the partnering information. Oh no, I take that back. Yeah, no, big three canceled the twenty twenty season. Yeah, they canceled the twenty twenty season. They're gonna shift their focus to twenty twenty one. Yes, I see it right here. Dang, everything's canceled. Sorry, bro. Cornhole is not. Look, bro, you be you be without sports for a few months. Cornhole look real interesting. Man, you gonna get it in the hole? Is he gonna get it in the hole? He got it. <laughs> they be getting hype too, bro. Like low cornhole. Key. Not even low key. Oh. I, I got hype. I got hype. I ain't gonna lie. Shoot, when I play cornhole, I don't even know how the game works. I was like, just throw it in the hole. <laughs> they, I was like trying to throw it in the hole. So it's a challenge. <laughs> they be good. they be going crazy over some stupid stuff. They, oh, you almost had it. I was like, I did, I did. 
Okay. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Like it just like skims, it just skims on the board and like sits there. So it's like, yeah, bro, if you hit one, if you hit that in and get the other one in, it's like double points. And I was like, oh word, word, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, the NCAA. Can we talk about the NCAA for a little bit? Cause I yeah. like I've as being a, like a former collegiate athlete and seeing how the NCAA at every turn has always tried to deter like students from making money, even though these schools pay these kids like millions of dollars. They go play for them. Like I'm just trying to figure out where the money and the budget come from for some of these schools. So I'd be sitting there like this, you look at some of these receipts. Zion apparently got a million dollars. Go play at Duke. Now did Nike give him that check, or did Duke give him that check? That's what I want to know. That's a good question. Because if Nike wrote that check, I need look. I need my I need my cut. I got I need to look at Duke's like their academic budget and look at their athletic budget and see what the basketball team is bringing in. Because science, like numbers don't lie. Like where did you nope. get all this? So where did this money disappear to, Coach K? Hmm? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> I don't. He he looking at me like I'm stupid. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Coach. What team was that? Oh, we were the opening. Okay. We're the opening yeah, college, city. College sports is gonna be weird. All sports now. NFL is gonna be weird. Shoot. You talk. You see that new face mask they were talking about wearing? <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's canceled. Yeah, Detroit Lions, seventeen and zero. <laughs> that is the oh. <laughs> can't can't win if you never lost. Feel me? You can't lose if you never won either. Mm mm mm. Yeah, like Detroit has a perfect record. Oh, shut up. Oh, speaking of the Lions, uh, don't don't Lions. don't 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 even say it. Don't even say what? it. I, what? I already know what you were about to say. No, no ownership, bro. It's, it's still it's that, it's still only the Ford family, though. It that, doesn't matter. That's in the right. That's in the right direction. <laughs> give it to another old lady. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> it's like when it's like when Jeannie Bus took over the uh, took over the Lakers. Like, oh yeah, look at that. It's a passing of the torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the team is cricket. I need a new I need a new GM, bro. Like what the heck? Why was the former owner ninety four years old? We don't know. I need to understand that. I'm tired. Why was she tired so of old, Detroit bro? sports? She was almost a hundred. She was almost as old as the team. Let's think about that. Every time they like pan to her in, in the audience on Fox Sports, I'm like. Take the camera off of her. I you think, don't want to see her face. <laughs> she look, she look forward to him. She she, she about the action, bro. She signed Colin Kaepernick. If like Bob quit it now, she says she do does. It. She doesn't even know that she's at a football game right now. That's how old what? she was. But she didn't even know that uh, she was at a football game. That's how old she was. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they just brought her there to just be like this. You got to show face. Do I? Like, do I? Is I, Jeopardy I'm, on? Is Jeopardy? <laughs> You, you know, you know I like that show, Family Feud. That new host is so funny. Is it, is it Bob Barker did good, but this new host is really funny. It's excuse like, me, excuse me. What's the text down? We don't, get, like we don't get much of those lately. You over here like this, Bob Barker. Uh, Bob. Bob Barker been retired for like ten years. Like, what you talking about? <laughs> I new still host. say, I still say Bob's name on on uh, uh, Price is Right. I'm like, one dollar, Bob. <laughs> Even though it's Drew Carey now, but. Yeah, you hear, oh, you hear about him about Drew Carey, too. Some dude who looked like him, but <laughs> had on, like, uh, he, had on, he had on the uh, manga hat, but also oh he, had on, he, had, he had on a, a suit with a brick overlay because to celebrate the wall being built. Supposedly, Man. they really built that wall. They really built that wall? Mm hmm 212 miles. That wall cost. I mean, there's already a wall right there, but. I mean, we, well, I mean, yeah, it's a large fence. I don't see some areas, yeah, there's a huge fence, but some areas is like it's like a legit wall. I'm about to just Google Trump wall because it's not so my I, wall. So wall. I was so I was driving through Gross Point, then I get to like St. Clair Shores up along the lake, and there's uh -huh. this huge stand, yeah. right? Yeah. Like yeah. a like a huge like bodega stand of like MAGA stuff. I'm like, maybe we should turn around. <laughs> I don't think I almost, I almost stopped and got something. 
just to mess to mess with their heads. <laughs> look at look at shockers when you saw that how Michigan was taking knees in solidarity. Mm-mm-mm. I saw that, bro. I was like this, bro. I drove through hell not too long ago. I did not feel comfortable. No, I was in a car. I was in a car. And I was like this, uh, yeah, how Michigan right now. And then I looked, I looked around. How I looked to at everybody else. I looked around, right? We were, as we were driving through the town. And then I looked, I talked to everybody in the car and I was like this, hey, have you guys seen anybody who's black or a person of color this whole time we've been here? And they were like nope. this. No. Nope. No, we, we know haven't. we know how to stay away. No, we haven't. I'll go over there like this. I wonder like what I wonder what like sports are like. And when these teams go play other teams, like what do they really say? Right. On the That's field? what I'm scared. Or like on the court, because you know, like Pete, you know, you talk trash all the time. No, okay. I was repping this team. It was like Monroe, like Monroe, like some sub, like suburb outside of Monroe, Michigan. Yeah. And De- Dearborn Heights, which is like majority mm-hmm. Islam, Muslim, Arab. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Arab. But they were just talking mad crap about them, bro. Like both teams were talking mad crap about each other. It's like, yo, you white trash, blah, blah, blah. and they'd be like, hey, man, you go bomb something. I was like, bro. Stop this. So I brought the coaches in, right? I was like, I need to stop this banter because it's going to get out of hand. So then nah, one of the – so one of the Dearborn kids called one of the white kids a midget. <laughs> and then their whole – then I was like, hey, stop this. And then their, all of Monroe's parents come up at me for stopping someone for calling someone a midget. I was like, hold up. Y'all been calling them bombers. Uh, uh, go back to Iraq. Like, come on, guys. And they just back, call you a midget. Go back, go back to Iraq? Like some people, some of these kids were born here. Like, stop it. Nah, that's not it. So that's just that's like that's just Monroe. But I don't know about Howell. I'm, I might schedule a game up in Howell just to just to mess with him. Nah, bro, I wouldn't do that to my kids. <laughs> so we're gonna beat these guys. We're gonna go home as soon as the whistle blows. Get on the bus. <laughs> Get on the bus. Oh, get on the bus. That looks good. They got tacos. Taco Tuesday. Bryce, you know what day it is? (laughs) You know what time it is. It's It's Taco Tuesday. Brown looks like he needs to go ball real quick, though. Man, LeBron looked like Kimbo Slice. <laughs> he was never LeBron looking like, just, I want to play basketball. LeBron is just, uh, LeBron is just Kimbo Slice incarnated <laughs> as a taller as a taller human being. Way about the same, but he's just a taller human being. <laughs> like, who's LeBron's dad? <laughs> is that Kimbo Slice? <laughs> we need answers, bro. I need to know who LeBron's dad is, bro. Y'all can't keep us in the dark no more. Right. Let me I'm see. Not, I'm not trying to wait till I'm not trying to wait till after he retire and all of a sudden his dad just pop out of hiding. <laughs> if you look at the timeline from the time I was speaking to his mama, Savannah. Let's look at this. Speaking to his mom. <laughs> you like I'm I'm the, I'm his papi. I'm his papi. He's gonna be like this. What? <laughs> personal no, 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 personal life. Let's go. Lebanon James. I like I you know it's crazy, bro. I have Googled LeBron James' hairline before. That man had the greatest comeback in sports. What? The greatest comeback in sports. Because if you look back from photos from like twenty, like those last, like those last year, that last year with the Heat. She. Boy. Boy, there's a reason why he stopped wearing a headband. Mm-hmm. He said his hairline been restored. Okay. <laughs> He got the keeps. <laughs> he got the keeps. <laughs> Ron James is bald. Can't go to his barber. Can't get that little Beijing put in there. You already saw his hair piece fall off one time. Fam. That was hilarious. I was like, oh! Anthony Davis, like Davis like this. Anthony Davis like this. He was like, hey. here's her hair, bro. Ron, your hair piece. He was like, hey, bro, your hair. Your hair. Fix your wig. What Brown was like? Only in L.A. (laughs) Never wore a headband after that. Only in L.A. Hey, look, bro. Jordan was killing shit when he went bald. Brown, just follow suit. Just follow. 
there's nothing wrong with it, man. Just just go ball, cause ain't no one gonna say nothing about you. It's crazy though when you see him come into the league till now. He's he's only won three titles though. That's yeah, thing. but like, is LeBron not the goat? Stats, yeah. I give I give it to him by stats, like nah, game I, gameplay stats, but by championships, no. Nah. Nah, I, I get you not, bro. I, anybody, I have this conversation with people all the time. I would never give LeBron James that GOAT status. I, can't, I, couldn't, give him, time. I couldn't give him greatest because he's not the greatest. He's one of the best players. I've, he's one of the best players to ever touch a basketball. I would never deny that. I would never deny that fact. He's one of the best players to ever touch a basketball. Is he the greatest player of all time? No. Not fair. I reserve that for Michael and Michael Jordan only. And you can give me all the semantics and titles in the world, but like, what about Bill Russell? He won eleven. That's cool. That's cool. Bill Russell wasn't doing the things Michael did. Bill Russell ain't win six straight. He won like eight straight. <laughs> oh, he did win a lot. He looked. He went like them, a billion straight in a row. A lot of, got, a lot of got two hands, them, bro. A lot of them chips was back to back. I gotta send you a photo that my man sent me about Bill Russell getting the block. You know what's crazy, bro? They didn't even record blocks until like the seventies. As a stat. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Wait, let me see. 86. Still alive. Still here. Let me see. Eight straight championships. <laughs> eight straight. Who can say that they won eight straight? Not Michael. Not Michael, because he took two years off. I can't actually, actually one and a half, but yeah. I keep looking at this and I realize like my granddad is only five years younger than Bill Russell. Dang. Eighty one? Yeah. He was born in thirty nine. My grandma's only a couple years younger than the Bill Russell. She was born in thirty six. Yeah, eleven time NBA champ. Yeah, bro. Fifty nine to sixty six. He's the great. He's the he, 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 he he's the GOAT. <laughs> one of the greatest advocates of all time. My man got down on one knee for George Floyd. <laughs> he can't even move. No, that's what, I was, that's what I was saying. Like, when they took that photo, I was like, that's not him taking a knee. That's, that's, really his, that's, his, that's his life alert. I fall in and I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing that for George Floyd. He's trying no, to get yeah. up. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's my dark comedy right there. Right. <laughs> that is so funny, bro. Where did he play college ball at? Yeah, where did he play college? He played San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. He only played it for three, four. I guess you could take four years. They tell you take that fifty-three and make it the fourth, that fourth year. Yeah. Second overall pick by the St. Louis Hawks. No, the now the Atlanta the Atlanta Hawks. St. Louis Hawks. You know when the when the Lakers when the Lakers used to be in Minneapolis and they moved to L.A. That's true. He played for the, the ten thousand lakes. I didn't know he co- he coached for a while. I didn't realize how long he coached. He coached what? Oh, he did the Celtics. He was a player coach. For the, he was a player coach for the Celtics for three years. He's, he, he would, he's the goat. He's the goat. He played coach too. You, you ain't gonna see LeBron doing it. You ain't gonna player, see LeBron. He was a player that. coach. He marched with Martin Luther King. He's the goat. I'm telling you. Look, Bill Russell's for sure. He's different. Eleven. Most 11 NBA. Most it, most MVP awards for finals. Yeah. I don't Come think on, there was a finals. Come on, Dal. He has five regular season MVPs on top of that. Like, come on. He's on the NBA 25th anniversary team. 50th anniversary team. And the 50th anniversary team. They retired his number in the Boston Garden. Jesus. It's just too much. All-American player. They retired his number in San Francisco. So, he would never wear that again. <laughs> Two-time NBA coach. Time. As a player as well, he's a goat. He's the goat. He's the goat. Um, I think the worst part is like, yo, I didn't realize, yo, over two twenty thousand rebounds, bro. He averaged twenty two and a half rebounds a game. His coaching record is fifty four percent, bro. And he wasn't a bad coach. He was above five hundred. He was out there no, playing with him. He was out there playing with him. He was all right, man, man, make this play, and I'll be, I'll be right there. <laughs> you know how hard that is, bro. I'll also, Olympic. Wait, hold medals. up, hold up, hold up, Bryce. He did this in the '60s, of all time periods. 
Yeah, you know, when racial divide was at its highest? Yes, he did this in the 60s. In Boston. Even, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy to me? Like, it was bad in the 60s. This man grew up through the 40s and the 50s. I wonder how bad it was in those previous two decades. Yeah, he was born in Louisiana, too. In the worst Monroe, Louisiana, of all places. I don't know. And he went to school in Oakland, high school in Oakland. Yeah, man. In the 60s. <laughs> No, yeah, in the 50s, Bill, 50s, 50s. Bill, Bill, Bill grew up rough, bro. Bill grew up rough. <laughs> rough. I ain't never gonna owe that about my man. Bill grew up rough because that don't even look fun no more. <laughs> Eleven times. Who is Henry Richard? Joseph Henry Richard was a Canadian professional ice hockey player who played center. With the Montreal Canadiens in the National Hockey League, he no, no, no. He is um the Canadiens. They have the rec- him and Bill Russell have the record for most championships won by an athlete in the North American Sports League. How many? How many? How many does he have to have in uh, on the Canadiens? Uh, from what I understand, for Henry Richard, he is also an eleven-time champion. Eleven. I believe so. That's what I saw here. Let me check. Just confirm my stats. Henry Richard from Montreal, Quebec. Oh, he just died. Wow. March 6, 2020, right before COVID. Oh, he just died? Yeah, yeah he won 11 Stanley Cups. Yeah, I think uh, Montreal has the record for NHL titles. That's kind of ridiculous. Overall. I mean, like the Celtics. Like, the Celtics have the most NBA championships of all time. Yeah. But the Red Wings, bro, we got the most for the for a team in the United States. We got 11. So who? The Red Wings. Detroit Red yeah. Wings. Yeah, we, have, we have the most NHL titles for a team in, in the United States. I think we have 11. Don't quote me. I don't know. This, this Henry Richard guy has as many as your franchise. So, Hey, man. That, that team was stupid good. I saw tapes, like, back in the 50s. They had no, like, no helmets. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He was playing with like what, like wool caps? No, no just helmets. They, they were they were just out there, wilding out. Who, who am I thinking of? Oh yeah, because like you ever saw that documentary about the first like black professional hockey player in America? Mm-hmm. Fun fact: if you didn't know this, black people made hockey. I did not know that. Well, yep. American hockey. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. I found that out a week ago. We also made rock and roll, but they stole it. <laughs> Thank you, Little Richard. <laughs> Bryce, you missed it yesterday. <laughs> I made a oh. rant. I made a rant on the uh, Rolling Stones top 100 songs. I was like, "How did that go?" By the way, explain that to me. Give me, give, give me like, just give me the, give me, give me the top ten. Fam, okay, l- l- let's do this top ten. Give me Fam. the top ten. I want to hear this. I said Rolling Stone does not. I I did a Kanye West. I was like, Rolling Stone does not care about black people. They don't because they had they, okay. They only had one Stevie Wonder song. In the top ten. Okay, I can. No, 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 not not the top ten. One Stevie Wonder song in the top one hundred. Okay, that's just kind of bullshit to me. But all right, you gonna keep that going. One, one Michael Jackson song. This list sounds very racist. You don't understand the pain that we went through last night. I just don't understand, Bryce. We had to go through. Hundred songs, and then they just clumped all the black songs together. Like we weren't gonna notice. They put them in a small group. <laughs> yeah, they was like uh, BB King, uh, Aretha Franklin. No, there were no Whitney Houston songs in all five hundred no, songs. Whitney, no, Whitney. none. No. But I bet Whitney. they had that one song. I bet they had the Titanic song by Celine Dion in that motherfucker though. There was no. There was no Celine Dion either. That's what I was like. These guys don't know. The guy who was doing it was like, I'm going to make this list great. And then the, his uh, executive came in, hey, man, put some black music in there, too. He was like, uh... Yeah, just, just, just sprinkle it in there from time. What am I going to do time. now? <laughs> what am I going to do now? I can't, bro. Right, I can't. Have, okay, they had Nar- Norris Barkley in there, though. That's good. Okay. Who else we had here? Norris Barkley, 100. Ah, oh, goodness. They had Love and Happiness at 98. Oh, okay. What? All these, like, old songs, though. Wait, Blitzkrieg Bop from the Ramones, number 92. 
Suspicious Minds, Elvis. My favorite Elvis song. Are we just awesome. ignoring? My Girl, 88. What? At 88, that should be in the top 10. Come on now. Thunder Road, this, Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> this is racist. Was higher than freaking Temptations. Rolling Stone hates black people. I'm a, I'm a, look. If we didn't know before, you don't know. <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine was number eighty one. That song has uh, been sample sample for years. Mr. Tambourine Man by the Birds was higher than Marvin Gaye. I'm not. I never heard of these songs before. Some of these songs were like, what? The the tambourine one I didn't know. No, I, I knew about that, but it was higher than uh, Marvin Gaye. Superstition actually, was the only Stevie Wonder song for me. I'm looking. I'm looking at the list right now. At seven. I feel like I'm gonna be. I think. I feel like I'm gonna be very upset by this list. Oh, we were mad last night. We were mad. Emotional rescue. What? Walk on by. by. Stones. Heaven. About the. Who made this song? Jailhouse Rock. It's higher than. Redemption song by Bob Marley, 66. <laughs> they went through. I don't even know who this is. What the heck? Just a whole lot of shaking going on. I just want to make sure I got the right list. You said Marvin Gaye. You said through the grapevine was 81? Yeah. Or 80-something. Billy Jean was the only Michael Jackson song. Billy Jean. At 58. <laughs> I'm disgusted. I'm, I'm, I'm so thoroughly mad. disgusted. I'm thoroughly disgusted on that one. I'm free. Monkey Man. What the fuck is Monkey Man? We don't know. When a man loves a woman was higher than Billy, Billy Jean. When a man loves a woman. What is going on? I don't know if I'm looking at the same list. I don't see anything here. Are you looking at a Rolling Stone? Oh no! Oh shit! No order. It's on. I click. I click. I click the Rolling Stone like link, but it was for um, classic rock songs. I was paying attention. Oh. Man, that, that was like a quiz I took. You got they, they named like three songs from the artist. You had to pick what artist it what it was. I got 111 out of 150. Some of those people I did not know. Why was why is it so hard to find this list? Here's the list. Gotcha. Got you, Bryce. I mean, I'll just probably hit the... What, but when was this made? It made like in... I think they made this in 2011. Okay, I was about to, I was about to click on something that was from 2011. Was like the 500 greatest songs of all time. I was going to drop down to the 100. Yeah, because I think they're going to add more songs next year. I got to. They sound real stupid. See, I don't like Rolling Stone because Rolling Stone is very biased when it comes to music. Super bias. What you mean? We might get that letter. Talk, first talk about Rolling Stone, but it's okay. It's okay. They gonna get that letter. Shit, send me the letter. Y'all gonna know how I feel. They gonna they gonna know how I feel. I'm like, really? Smokey Robinson at fifty? What? Smokey, Ro- Smokey. I tripping, tripping now. They 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 didn't even put a uh, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, was it a uh, not Purple Haze? Voodoo Child was not even in top budget. I put it 102. Yeah, I can't do Rolling Stone, bro. Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis. Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis. Uh, Elvis. <laughs> Mostly Dancing in the Street was 40. 40? The Dancing in the Street was 40? Yeah. What the heck? Come on, guys. Oh. There you go. Buddy Holly the Crickets. Who was that? I had, all right, here we go. I think I'm in. What's up? This is it. This is 100. Narles Barkley's Crazy was 100. Yep. Got to scroll down. Credence. Credence Clearwater Revival, Fortunate Son. Are you serious? Bam, 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 bam. That was a good song. Don't get me wrong. Love and Happiness was 90. 98. 
They are they are discriminatory. <laughs> Chuck Berry. Sex was Michael McDonald number one? <laughs> no, close but no. <laughs> you are. I hope you're playing. Close but no. The Righteous Brothers, bro. You've lost the love of feeling. That should be higher. Them white boys were singing. <laughs> What the heck? I can't. It's Liz's dress. Proud Mary wasn't even on here. They got River Deep Run Mountain High. Like, what? This is trash. I want you to know that. So, <laughs> uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, who's number? Who's number? Goodness, what the? People get ready by the impressions. 24. You said what? People get ready by the uh, impressions. That's 24. Curtis Mayfield. And you put this into the fucking Google Chrome because Chrome works because some it popped up on Internet Explorer and I was like this. Uh, my Internet Explorer. I forgot my Internet Explorer. It's like Mozilla Foxfire, bro. No one uses it anymore. Right. It's like eh. Because you have a well, you have a um fucking you got a MacBook or anything like that. You're always using Safari unless you download Chrome onto your like your MacBook. Yeah, I use Chrome. Safari is like, what about me? <laughs> what about you? It's like Not Weezy about on, you. It's like Weezy on a two, Toy Story 2, collecting dust. What about me? What about me? You're, you're, going, you're going to sit there, good sir. I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> All right, let, it, let it be by the Beatles. 20. <laughs> Ring of Fire was 87, which is okay with me. I'm not even mad about that. Thunder Road by Bruce Spring. I don't you know what. I don't even like Bruce Springsteen like that. Not, not, a fan. not Thunder Road though. Come on now. <laughs> Thunder Road. I don't mind Bruce Springsteen, but the police. London Thank Calling you. was fifteen. How many times were the Beatles on this list? A lot. Trust me. It gets it gets what it gets worse as you go higher. <laughs> they got yesterday. Got yesterday by the Beatles. Oh. It's thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, I wish I was on here for this guy. I probably would have lost my shit. Oh, so many people lost their lost their marbles on this. They got Nirvana, Teen Man. Spirit. Smells like Teen Spirit at number nine. Is that a top ten song of all time? No. Mm, I don't think so, bro. I like it, though. No. Don't get me wrong. Top 100, yes. But nine? I think I've no. seen the Beatles at least two or three times by now, and I'm only into 75. <laughs> it gets worse. It gets worse. Some of the songs you haven't even heard of. I feel like I don't listen to the Beatles like that. Stevie Wonder's Superstition is 73. I feel that's, like that should be higher. That's his only song in the top 100. That's his only song in the top 100? Ribbon in the Sky, bro? Nope, not in there. That's not even the top 500. We looked through all of them. It was like, where is another Stevie Wonder song? <laughs> we couldn't find one. I guess they're just going to base off popularity. That probably is one of his most popular songs. But still. Popular. Five, he won three. He won album of the year. Time four times in the 70s. Four times. Four times. At least one of the songs from each album has to be on here. Good Vibrations, six, that's number six. All right, I see my first Elvis at 67, Jailhouse Rock. Jailhouse Rock? Redemption that's a banger. That's a banger, though. Queen, what's going, what's going on was four. <laughs> what's I going get, on? I give him that. All right, I got four, like three or four Beatles tracks right now. It's just tragic. Who is this? Let's stay together by Al Green at 60. 60. I, I, sometimes I've got that Bob Dylan made music. Oh, yeah, he's one of the greatest songwriters of all time. Michael Jackson, Billy Jean at 58. That's Pussy his Jones. only song. Pussy Jones can't save you, Michael. Apparently he cannot. Nope. Sex Pistols. Who even listens to the Sex Pistols? Nobody. So take them off the list. <laughs> wait, wait. We got we got um, Imagine by John Lennon at three. Okay. <laughs> Can we suck off the Beatles any more than we need to? When Doves Cries at fifty-two. <sighs> I'm I, I, I'm gonna wait. I, I'm gonna wait till you get to two. <laughs> Grandmaster, so Flash the, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious 5. 
the message. Yeah. The message is sitting at 51. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. You gotta love the, you gotta love how they rap back there. <laughs> Got my mic, get my people too. How about we do what he do? <laughs> my uh Adidas. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, right into that. Like, my, uh, <laughs> Hey man, they sold they sold shoes, bro. I can't be mad Marquee, at that. They did. Yo, Adidas would not be Adidas without them. <laughs> Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. I do like the song Hotel California though. Does it deserve to be top fifty? I don't know. That's up for debate. All the way in the distance. <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix experience all along the Watchtower. David Bowie. I do enjoy Mr. Bowie. Oh, yeah, Bowie. All right, there's two Elvis tracks I've seen so far. George On My Mind is a classic hit. I feel like it should be higher than 44, at least in the 30s. This at least. Personally. Tutti Frutti, that's a classic banger for sure. Tell them the right. Some of these songs I've never heard before. Some of these songs, I'm like, why are they in the top 100? And why do you have an old person with a gun standing over you? Like, change. The oh, look, Rolling, oh, Rolling Stones put the Rolling Stones at 38. Oh, just, it gets worse when you get to the top 10. I'm just saying. Spoiler alert. Oh, no woman, no cry about Bob. You two? I don't really put you two in the top 100. I Some never of their songs are bangers. I'll never forgive you two for making me listen to that album on my phone at one time. Like it was just on my Marcel, phone. Marcel brought that up. He was like, that damn album that they just put on everybody's <laughs> iPhone. I was like... I didn't ask for that. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that album, bro. I appreciate you giving me the free music, but I didn't want that one. Like, I didn't want it. It's, like they, want you, it. it's like they wanted you to buy Apple Music because it was like this. So instead of listening to this album all the time, just download oh. Apple Music. Just stream Apple Music. Play whatever you want. <laughs> There's another Rolling Stone song. Oh, my God. Stairway to Heaven. Yeah, you know you, you, know, you, you know you can't play that in guitar stores. You can't. Mm-mm. Apparently, it brings bad luck because it's too long. You got like it's too long to finish. <laughs> like like once you start it, you have to finish the song. Or like it's just bad luck. Mm-mm-mm. It's just funny. It's like um, go to YouTube and type in um, guitarist play Stairway to Heaven and like guitarist play Stairway to Heaven, and just try to find a video with someone like doing it at like a convention. I kid you not, every time he starts, they stop you and they be like this. We we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> stop this. We don't do that here. All right. That's at least five Beatles tracks in the top 100. Six. Six now. They're back to back here. All right. Hold up. I'm going to do something real quick and I'll be right back. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to keep looking through this list. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll stop at number 10. All right. What? I don't even know. The Beach Boys are on here twice. The impression is like seven Beatles tracks in the top 100. The top 50 long. Like seven Beatles tracks. Another Bruce Springs fan. It's like the eight Beatles tracks I'm seeing right now. This is kind of ridiculous. The Hound Dog. You ain't nothing but a Hound Dog. What's up, Barry? Purple hair, yeah. Jesus Christ. The Beatles were they were great, but god damn, you can't choose nothing else. Oh my generation. That was a DECA album. To all those out there watching, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you guys do in regards to like music choices, who you like. The Beatles are not that great. I don't think they're like, they deserve 10 songs in the top 100 songs of all time. Great. Sue me. I feel like there are other incredible artists, whether they be one hit wonders or not, a body of work, popularity of song. I don't believe the Beatles are that that good. 
where they deserve 10, 9 to 10 songs to be in the top 100 songs of all time, Rolling Stone. I think this list is very underrepresented because I have yet to see one hip-hop track. So they're not covering all genres of music. But also, like, no, no country hits, none of that. So I don't, I can't agree with this list. I can't. It's flawed. So they were just going for rock hits, which is pretty much what it all is. You can't, you can't, I get that Rolling Stones is a rock magazine. But if you're going to go with rock and pop hits, top 100, so they got a, they got a lot of R&B songs on here, a lot of smooth songs. But like, I think a couple of genres are very underrepresented. Obviously hip hop for one, I've got to see one hip hop track be on here. I'll take that back, we had Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five, but there's, there's been plenty of other songs that have come out since Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five that they could potentially use. So yeah, man, I don't I don't get the list. I mean, I don't, it's not like I hate the list. There's a few songs in there that I really like, whether the, depending on the artist. Um, Again, I just, I just don't think that it is uh, something necessary. But while Chris is gone, I'm gonna do a uh, pseudo ad. You know, just trying to get paid out here. Um, I don't really know what to say besides, uh, you know, just continue to uh, smash the donate button on your favorite charities. Smash the donate button on any uh, any petitions or any um, funds or fundraisers that you guys like. Uh, if you if you're, I'll just use this as an example. BLM supporter, keep smashing the um, donate button for all types of fundraisers, um, all types of funding for whatever um, they're going for. Um, keep trying your best to help on your community. Um, you know, whether it be watching somebody's kids while they go protest, or um, you know, opening up, you know, shutting up, opening up your wallet, donating money, um, giving your time and support to going to actually protest. Um, keep doing what you're doing on that end um, just want to give another shout out to the families of uh, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd now Elijah McClain now that his story has been made light uh, been made to light just um, car, cares come from, um, car cares fund for Flint for the water crisis which is still going on has been going on for the better part of I want to say more than two decades now um, a uh, little Miss Flint. Uh, just yeah, man. You know, support your local boys and girls clubs, community outreach programs, um, halfway uh, halfway houses, um, places where people are just trying to get a fresh start. Um, you know, go down there, donate your time. Uh, the VA, even I would I would definitely recommend anybody if you if you're a, if you're a patriot those patriotic people out there, go go down to the VA, speak to some veterans, get their perspective on things, see how they feel about things. Um, understand what they need, because there are a lot of people out here who need a lot of things, whether it be psychological health or traumas, um, medical benefits at that, because you know, I don't I don't think they have any medical benefits at all for veterans when they come out, unless they set themselves up that way. Um, a lot of these guys get out. The GI Bill is really hard to come by. I didn't know that. Oh, Chris is back. I'm sorry. I was just going on a rant. I'm back. Going on, I was just going on a rant. I was giving people a little lowdown, doing some pseudo ads. Trying to get paid out here. No, it wasn't really any, any pseudo ads. I was just telling people to donate or continue to donate to um, any type of like fundraiser, um, support group, things like that, BLM, whatever it is, um, Smile Charity, not at, but you, what's that, UNICEF? Yep, UNICEF. UNICEF, uh, Boys and Girls Club, you know, just volunteer your time at community outreach centers, especially the VA. I think people should definitely volunteer your time at the VA. You get to speak to some veterans and see how they feel about everything. Talk to them. See where that real story is coming from. So, Right. Other than that, I'm going to move on to the top 10 here. This is my reaction here. Oh, boy. Here we go. Only, only Amigos. Ray here Charles, we... what I'd say. Okay, that's not a bad, that's not a bad top 10. What was that? Ray Charles, what I say. Nirvana, like you said, smells like Teen Spirit. I actually enjoy the song. Does, is it a top 10 song? No. If I, no. Would I put it in the top 25? Possibly. Probably, yeah. Number Five. eight. Hey Jude by the Beatles. See, now this is my only problem with this list. As I was saying before, I'm going through it. 
I have now seen at least 11 to 12, if not 12 to 13 tracks by the Beatles in this Rolling Stones list. I get yep. that they're probably one of the most influential bands of all time. I don't really think that they were that amazing where you had to put in 13 songs of, to be the best 100 songs of all time. 13? That's, that's a lot. 13. Chuck Berry. Johnny Be Good. That's a classic banger, though. It is a banger. Really good banger. Johnny! Thank you. Good uh, thank you. Uh, Back to the Future. All right. <laughs> I would not know about that song if it wasn't for Back to the Future. Good Vibrations by Beach Boys. Again, I never listened to the Beach Boys. I'm pretty sure I've heard this song before. It's oh, already Good Vibrations is, is a banger. I heard it. It stayed on the it's number one for 14 weeks, which is a very long time. Mm -hmm. Capital Records, too. Capital Records. Respect by Rita Franklin. Respect they still didn't get my. I said they still didn't get my mixtape when I went to no. LA. I knocked oh, on no. the door. I was like, "Hey, bro, <laughs> get this mixtape." I'm, I'm gonna drop this off real quick. Let y'all listen to that. Y'all give me a call back. My number's on the back. Never got a never got an answer back. Damn. I read the Franklin respect. All right. Stop five. I appreciate it. Some, what's going on by Marvin Gaye? Number four. John Lennon, imagine. Above yeah. Marvin Gaye and Aretha Franklin. Yeah, Goodness gracious. He, he was in the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Wow, a Rolling Stone song at number two. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't get no satisfaction. Their I'm best not, song, like, in, my, in my opinion. Right now, I can't get no satisfaction with this list. Right. And da, 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 number one. Number one. I'm, like a Rolling <laughs> <laughs> This Bob Dylan, like a Rolling Stone. <laughs> this is a joke list. I don't care what anybody says. It, 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 is, is, it is a joke list. It's a joke list. It can't be serious. Basil was like, you, Basil was like, you have to have Rolling Stone in your title for you to be in the top 10. And then me and Chris were like, bro, the Temptations weren't even on this list in the top 100. The Temptations. The Pop Rose Rolling like, Stone was like number like 200 or something. I don't we know. were just going through the, we just, I just did the top 100. I'm pretty sure there are other songs and the other. 400 songs that they put in this list, but I I believe this list might be very underrepresented, bro. Like, I saw one hip-hop track in the top 100, and there's been, like, tons of, like, other hip-hop tracks I feel like could have made it. I could have been, like, Juicy in there by um, Biggie. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there's a bunch of other songs, bro, that you guys could have put in there. Like, this list is very underrepresented. I didn't really see no country hits. Zero. No country hits? No cool in the game. Chris said that yesterday. No, no cool, cool in the game. In the game. Yeah, Rolling Stones in the top five. Ignition by R. Kelly. Okay, so they're in here. They're just not in the top 100, which makes zero sense to me. Right. Ignition. So I think, like, yes, yeah, so what I'm seeing, like, from what the pattern I see right here, it's like songs that were made, I think, between, I think we'll probably get some songs made in the last, like, 20 years will probably be in, uh, will probably be at the back of this list. So that's top 100. What we're not going to do is go through it. They got Crime Me a River by Justin Timberlake at 484. Is it a top 100 song? Probably not. Does it deserve to be that close to 500? I don't think so. No. Some of these songs are just ridiculous. Like, Why are they since top you, 100? Since, since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson stood at number two on the Billboard for 46 weeks. I want people to understand that 46 weeks is only six weeks shy of a year. <laughs> this song set at number two for damn near a year and it's only 482. That's crazy. The fact that, I don't know, I, I can't. 46 Sabotage. weeks. Sabotaged by Beastie Boys, which arguably is probably their best song, which is wild to me. Yeah. Um, it's sitting at 480. <laughs> Foreigner, I want to know what love is. I want to know what love is. 20, 21 weeks at number one. Everybody knows that song. Everybody does. That's at 479. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I don't. I don't know who made this list. I don't know who gave them the. We got. We got to show up. We got to show up to uh, Rolling Stone magazine. 
Welcome to the Jungle by Rolling Stone, by Guns N' Roses. Like, this song was so influential because it would make, cause, like, it gained popularity again thanks to video games. Say what you want. I used to enjoy riding around hitting people in my car in San Andreas. <laughs> Welcome to, to the, the Jungle. jungle. <laughs> Punching out police officers. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> good times, good times. Good times. All right, bro. So let's roll list. Another Beatles track in the top one, in the top five hundred. I don't even know that song. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> big Pimpin by Jay Z at four sixty seven. Big Pimpin, big G. Like, Get your freak on by Missy Elliott. See, Get your freak on by see, Missy Elliott. See how they grouped all the black songs in one in, in one part of the list. I'm seeing that now. It's like literally muddy, muddy waters. <laughs> Rolling Stone, Martin yeah, Martin. Prince, <laughs> Sam and Dave. See how they put all the black people one air one little thing. You know, if I recall, Rolling Stone racist would they would they would they pull anything? We don't have any funding. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. We got call it. We got we got to call it as it is. I'm just saying, Rolling Stone, rework your list, bro. Rework right. your list because I don't like it. I don't like Sheena it is a punk rocker. What? Huh? What? Sam Cook. Sam Paradise Cook. City. Seventeen weeks at number five. Seventeen weeks at number five. Yep. The Twist, Chubby Checker, thirty-nine weeks at number one. They even, y'all have they have songs that didn't chart <laughs> in the top one hundred. Yeah, bro, like not even in the top one hundred. Oh, top five hundred. Like, yeah, bro, you have songs that didn't chart in the top five. So I'm just I'm, I'm confused about this list. I'm confused about the motivations for this list, but that's that. It's like, come on. Are there any interesting points that you want to touch on, Chris, while we're here? That Rolling Stone hates black people. Um, all right, I'm not gonna argue that. The, <laughs> the, nah, I'm not at the end this. In the club, bro. Thirty weeks at number one, four forty eight. Four forty eight. Thirty weeks at number. This song was on was number one in the country longer than most of those songs that were in the top one hundred. I got you, babe. Sunny and Cher, number one Sunny for fourteen Cher. weeks. Four fifty one. Four fifty one. I'm guarantee you it was in. It was number one a lot longer than some of those Rolling or some of those Beatles songs. Push it by salt and pepper. That's a cultural icon. That's like that is a cultural song. I like the was really slow. Even this Elvis yeah. Presley song, "Love Me Tender," number one for twenty three weeks straight. And it's in the four hundreds. In the four hundreds, bro. I don't know what criteria they're sitting on this list because nah, maybe be- maybe they were listening to the rock. John Rowe playlist, and they're like, oh, let's put like some of them in here. Midnight Train to Georgia, number one for 19 weeks by Gladys Knight in the Pits. 19 weeks. It's your turn. Okay, they, they put all the black people in, the, in another thing again. It is, they just grouped them up, bro. They put Billy Joel in the 400s. That's just disrespect. Nope, That's another, disrespect. U, another, another U2 hit. Which one is that? Deep Purple, no, no, uh, was it New Year's Day? New Year's Day, oh, New Year's Day, that's a good song. Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. Why is that, that, that's so that's low 434. American Idiot by Green Day, that's Great a classic song. Rock song. Great, song. like that song is a good, another cultural icon, another cultural song that everybody's listened to. Now, you, you have at least heard. Somewhere, right. some way, shape, or form. Yes. Piano Man by Billy Joel. Get your thing. Yeah, Ozzy Brothers. Number two for 14 weeks. Dr. Dre's Ain't Nothing But a G Thing, baby. Baby. Snoop 427. Dog. 27 weeks at number two. Another cultural song that if you were born within the 90s, you know. You know this song. 80. You know. You know. Priority Records. DJ Yellow. 
Fuck Dre. They Riders, did put NWA. They did put NWA. On, they did put NWA on this list. Fuck the police. They got Juice Young. They do get. They got Juice Young here. Yeah, right up. Yeah, twenty-seven, four twenty-four. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't like this list. I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like this list. This list is, does nothing for me. So yeah, this list does nothing for me, bro. So yeah. Another point I want to talk about is how they closed the, uh, they shut down some of the polling places for today in Kentucky. Oh, then yeah, didn't Kentucky originally have like it was over like three thousand polling places, and now they're like down to like less than a hundred or something like that. Some crazy mm-hmm. odds, some crazy ass number. And most so of like, them are most of them are in like the big cities. The big cities where a lot of people go. Yep. So now you have like over a hundred thousand voters or something like that trying to go vote, but they can't. That one place. Yeah. At that point, and, you have to have election day be a national state holiday. <laughs> do people are. There's no way that you have to have like the polls got to be running from like midnight to midnight. There ain't gonna be no way to get no like no one's gonna be able to vote. And that's how y'all want to do it. Are y'all gonna have like a lot of like mail-in ballots? Shoot. So so they can be conveniently lost in the mail. Now they got Rihanna on here, on Bella. Yeah. <laughs> that was a banger. It was. Twenty-seven weeks in number one. 27 weeks of number one? 27. I'm going to just finish up the 400s. I'm going to get out of here. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. This list, is, this list is upsetting. It is. And Should have the been there last night. Metallica. Last night was amazing. We were cussing people out. <laughs> Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet yeah. Home Alabama. That's a cultural song. That thing has such a cultural hit. Like, sucks. White and black people know that one. I don't know mm-hmm. none about Alabama. I ain't never been there. Nope. But all I know is that the skies are so blue. Mama, come in. 401. All right, I'm out of here. I can't do this. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the list is upsetting. I'm not looking at it. Anything Go check it out. Here. Rolling Stone's top 500 songs of all time. List came back out in 2011, so I need to see an updated list. Rolling Stone, I need to see an updated list because y'all, Man, y'all, hold don't, up. y'all don't drop the bag a little bit. One second, let me top five drop the way. bag a little bit on me. Rolling Stone, 500 greatest songs of all time. All right, so we have one song from the 1940s, 72 songs from the 50s. 203 songs from the 60s, 142 songs from the 70s, 57 songs from the 80s, 22 songs from the 90s, and three songs from the 2000s. That is upsetting. This is mad upsetting, bro. Is that a list? Can you even call that a list? No. (laughs) Wait, Beatles are the most with 23 songs. 23 songs by the Beatles in the 500 songs. Ever listed and there's over yeah bro I'm cool on that list it's not biased or anything <laughs> wait mm-hmm. hold on yeah, they put juicy in in the 2000s and they put crazy by Nas Barkley put juicy in the 2000s no for the uh, for, no for the tw- for the 2010 update oh, okay. So they say finally that. put Juicy in there after 20 years. <laughs> and they put in, goodness gracious, Miles Barkley. Probably the, like one, of, one of the best songs on in oh. the 2000s. <laughs> That's like his only hit too, right? Dang, Miles Barkley didn't do nothing after that. I mean, they had an album after that, but it wasn't in, in the 2010s. But nobody really listened to it. I know. There's some good songs in there too. I sang a train and turn with the girl I love. Fuck you. Damn, bro. The world just keeps getting crazier and crazier. What's going on? Uh, what was it? Whole Foods is now, let's see here, is ending its relaxed overtime policy today. Um, so this means for employees that they can no longer quarantine unless they are approved for a leave of absence. Sick days will once again be penalized. This isn't a raw. This, yeah, 
the person who said who made this uh, isn't just a raw deal for workers. It's a major health risk for everyone in our stores. What? Health risk? Drake? Sucks, bro. Coronavirus is not a thing anymore. I'm over it. <laughs> it's a thing. You say that, but... I was at practice today. They were stretching next to me. I was like, six feet, bro. Six feet. At least give me three. <laughs> well, y'all acting like it's not a thing. Not like Corona don't exist no more. Now tripping, tripping. Yeah, bro, I'm over it. Coronavirus just doesn't exist. So I'm about to just start doing what I want. <laughs> People going on vacation mm -hmm. to Miami. <laughs> I'm like, bro, that's that's one of the major hot spots for for COVID right now. I'm about to shut Miami down again. I, I thought they did. did they? I know I know they shut down San Francisco again. Did they shut down San Francisco? They shut down San Francisco again? Yeah, I think they're down for another three weeks, I think. <laughs> we gave y'all freedom and we gave you freedom and you ruined it. Ruined it. Wait, wait, let me see. San I hate this damn phone. San Francisco. A younger and less sick wave of COVID patients is surging through Miami Dade Hospital. This was two hours ago, by the way. <laughs> Florida reports more than 3,000 new coronavirus cases. Good job. Good job, Miami. Good job, people traveling to Miami. You're helping us get out of this. Let me check this one out. Let me read this. This is from the, this is from the Miami Herald. So this is direct source. Statewide total for coronavirus cases is over 100,000. 103,506 to be exact. It's like they don't care. No one cares, bro. That's the point. I know it's summer, but come on now. No one cares, bro. There's no point in caring anymore. Like, people have to wear gloves. They got, like, the little glass shield up it. Grocery on the stores. beach, <laughs> bars is open. People just chilling at bars. Yeah. It can be a minute before I go back to a bar. At least, like, if you're gonna go to a bar, at least go to one where you can sit outside and be away from people. Right. I couldn't do it. I'd like throw my stuff into the car. Just go in. You said, you said San Fran, though? Yeah, San Francisco. Let me see what San Francisco got for me. The San Francisco. Now, first thing I saw about San Francisco, arson. I'm like, oh my God, people said shit on fire? <laughs> people having rolled back second thoughts. This is 13 hours ago from the local news station. Jeez. Robert, haircuts returning to San Francisco. And that's the end of the article right there. Haircuts returning to San Fran. Man, I, I got my haircut. Shoot. I'm as happy as the next person to get my haircut or get my a haircut. My, my barber had on a hazmat suit. <laughs> he, had the, he, had, he had one of those helmets that uh, that welders have. You put it down. Oh, with, <laughs> oh, with the face mask? With the face mask? I'm like, bro, just cut my hair. <laughs> I had to wear a mask while he did it. I was like, oh, my gosh. This is too much. This is like life right here. now. Philadelphia hasn't even entered the green yet. We still ain't got no barbers. You want to go see yours, bro? You better hope you cut on the low. <laughs> so you don't lose his license. Like, yeah, bro, come to the crib. Yeah, walk around back, though, so no one sees you. <laughs> Wear this hat when you leave, so no one knows you got a haircut. They got, they got a, whole, a whole police car in the alley to catch people. <laughs> a whole police car in the alley to catch people. <laughs> We know what you were doing back here, Tyrone. Fuck. I was trying to cut my hair. <laughs> I'm just trying to get paid, man. I was my, my unemployment stopped coming in. <laughs> they talking about reopening schools. They got these deaths spread, spread apart so far. I'm looking. This is in San Jose right now. They got a school open for summer classes. They got these deaths spread apart at least six feet. Ooh, like, you're right. like. If you're a freshman going to college next semester, bro, or this fall, man, I feel hey, sorry look, for them. You ain't never gonna get no college experience. It's a rough for you, buddy. 
that's that's not even a college experience <laughs> at, at, at this point. It's a no, college experience, gonna, but it's like not college experience. You know you're, what not I mean? gonna, you're not going to get the college. You're not going to be able to get on campus. You ain't going to be able to meet nobody. You ain't going to be able to do no high fives. <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be in the online forum sitting there like this. Yeah, man, it's good meeting you, bro. I'm glad we had this group project together. Thank God for Zoom. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. We got video chat on Zoom. <laughs> video chat on Zoom, bro. I'm reading stuff about local colleges trying to bring kids back in the fall. Talk about holding classes outside during fall semester. Depending on where you at, bro, it's gonna be cold as hell. They teach you gonna go from like outside classes to online real quick. Mm-hmm. I might as well get my PhD. Yeah, bro, <laughs> no, I got no, no time, bro. No residency. <laughs> I can stay home. <laughs> Basically, bro. I'm over here, like, I was really over here thinking, like, Harvard was offering free classes. Should have took advantage of it. It was offering free classes. I should have took advantage. I could have been home the whole time. I mean, I could have been on vacation this whole time. No one would have cared. My bro. job would have not have known. No one would have cared. I no, still would have done I would. I still would have did all my stuff for work. <laughs> But I'd be in Miami. <laughs> Getting that corona. <laughs> no, I'd be in my room. <laughs> Just looking out at the beach. <laughs> Let's look at this. Let's look at it since the country decided to like open back up. Like what is happening? Let's, like where is corona spiked in the country? It's relatively it's relatively steady, but like still, bro, as of June twenty second, there have been Wonderful. over twenty six thousand new cases of coronavirus that's just the day like there there's like there's no vaccine for it so you're not going to get rid of it not even social yeah. distancing is going to get rid of this no social distancing only slows the spread of it'll it. slow it but it's not going to get rid of it definitely not going to get rid of it the only thing that kills me is that there's over a thousand confirmed cases of coronavirus zero people have recovered from coronavirus once they have it there are three thousand people dead. So we're talking like three percent of the Florida population of the Florida population affected by coronavirus has died. Less than three percent. What am I talking about? I was like over your late, bro. Y'all can't be serious, bro. Ain't no one recovered from this thing. Y'all just out here living life. Yeah, they're like, huh? What? What COVID? Basically, bro. Who is this COVID you speak of? Does he Who speak English? COVID-19. Same thing for Ohio. Ohio has over 45,000 confirmed cases, 2,700 deaths. No one has been reported recovered from having COVID in Ohio. Have, have you noticed, like, the first few months, he was like, oh, people are living. People are coming back. Now it's like, hey, bro, if you get it, you're Dead. <laughs> that number is about that number is about to drop dramatically. <laughs> you're getting it. You're gone. You're no, you you know where you're not going to get Corona. The Dakotas, <laughs> Montana. Montana has 734 confirmed cases of coronavirus. 550 people have recovered from. There's no there's no one there. That's why. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Like only 21 people have actually died from it. Montana has as much people as Wayne County has people in Michigan. Which is crazy. That's a Less than state. that, actually. Less than that. The whole state, bro. And Montana's huge. It's fucking it's ridiculous. It has less people than Wayne County, Michigan. Let me see how many people in Montana. Hey, look at this, bro. Montana has right 1.069 1. million. Wayne County, Michigan. <laughs> I got good friends in Alaska. Oh, does Alaska have any coronavirus cases? Yeah, I think all the, all states have it. Alaska has like just about 760. <laughs> Wayne County, 1.749 million. <laughs> there are many people in Wayne County. There is in Montana. This is a state. No, there's more. There's more people. In Wayne County. There's 749,000 more people. That's the whole city of Detroit. More than the whole state. That's crazy. I can't. Hey, Alaska has a lot of Alaska has a lot of has a lot of. Kids. But hey, man, you know what? Let's go out in the belt and party and do things that we want to do. Not me. 
can't this, the country of Canada has less confirmed cases of coronavirus than we do. <laughs> Man, Canada shut down everything. They was like, if you ain't Canadian, we don't want you. Basically, bro. <laughs> if you're not essential, we don't want you. <laughs> Canada has like over 100,000 confirmed cases. 64,000 people have recovered. There have been eight, about 8,500 deaths. That's Canada. The U.S., on the other hand, we're looking at 2.39 million confirmed cases of coronavirus. 740 people have recovered. We've lost 123,000 people. Yep. And we just added 292 people to that body count today with 26,000 new cases today. That's just so, now. Yeah. That, that's today. <laughs> that's, that's just today. now. That's only, <laughs> it's only 1046. <laughs> Look, 1049, we're going to see another number. <laughs> Look. All right, we might, like, oh. we might lose eight more. <laughs> Little little Timmy ain't make it. I might have it. <laughs> I got that Rona back. Two point three nine million. Come on, guys. Come on. People say it's not real. Oh, um, yeah, it's real. It's real, all right. It's real, Very all right. Real. People are dying. Left and right in bed. Like we forgot about coronavirus as much as we forgot about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter hit. Shoot, people was like, hey, "Corona don't matter no more." Basically, bro, that's when it disappeared. <laughs> Because people like this in mobs, like you're in mobs of people. Like, I don't care. Obviously, you don't care if this virus is a thing. No. And then it sparked then, too, like late May. The most, New York has still has the most confirmed cases. Yeah, of course. Still has the most deaths. California has the second most confirmed cases. By like, it's not even like a small margin. Like, New York has 200,000 more cases than California. And California yeah. is a way bigger state. Yeah, but New it's Jersey. It's more spread out. Look at New Jersey's numbers. New Jersey's kind of sick. I ain't going to hold you. New Jersey's also kind of sick. I live next to New Jersey. New Jersey has less less confirmed cases, but their death toll is just high. 12,000 out of 169. Yeah, it runs a lot. Pennsylvania, we out here. We got 82,000. Feel me? 6,500. You like, you feel me? <laughs> you know, we're we we not as bad as Florida because you feel me? <laughs> Yo, this number is staggering, bro. Like, Florida is like, people, people are not even recovering in Florida. They're just like, yeah. No, bro. <laughs> they, just, they, like, they get sick and just get sick again. <laughs> <laughs> we just gave them to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> They're to the streets. <laughs> they, got their, they belong to the streets now. Florida has over 100,000 confirmed cases. They just had like 3,000 new confirmed cases today. 12 people just died again today. Plus, like, seven, in, plus seven in Michigan. Set three more people died in Pennsylvania today for Corona. Yeah. Michigan, 67,000 confirmed cases, over 6,000 deaths. That's a large disproportionate number. That's a very large number. I don't like this. Like, this is terrifying. This is scary. Like, oh, you'll be you'll be fine. No, you won't. Ain't no vaccine. Ain't no ain't no coming into the office for me. Like makes a nigga want to move to Alaska. Mm, I ain't going to Alaska. You know, you know what the number one you know what the number one death uh cause in Alaska is? What? Bear attacks. <laughs> All right. I ain't trying to end up like my man's from uh the Revenant Uncle. Right. I ain't trying to be in an episode of Snow Dogs. <laughs> Baby. You know what? We could go to the I could go to the Virgin Islands, bro. They only got seven seventy six cases. Virgin Islands? Hmm. You know there's a there's a HBCU out there too? Is it? Yeah, University of oh, Virgin there Islands. Is. There is. I, I could have been that. set. Shit. I could have been out there. I could have I forgot Guam. There. I you know, I forgot Guam was a territory. Me too. Yeah, I usually think of like the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Marshall Islands, yeah. Samoa. You have Samoa. No, no, no coronavirus in Samoa. No. They was like, we don't want y'all here. <laughs> Stay your ass over there. Hey, bro. Take your American dollars over there. <laughs> well, we don't need the money that bad. We'll no, be man. okay. American Samoa was like, hey, bro. Right today. The Northern Mariana Islands. I forgot about all about them. I forgot about the Mariana Islands. America is a piece of shit. We 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 have territories, but we don't give them citizenship. 
they need to be voting out here, okay? If it, if it was if it was Guam, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, man, Obama Obama could have had a third term. <laughs> look, look at me, look at me. Just imagine if they they actually let these territories vote in national man. elections. That's because we let them govern themselves. Like if we didn't let them govern themselves, it'd be different. But seeing as we do, but like, now nah, look, y'all have your own government, but just understand when it comes to bigger issues, y'all part of us. So when we have these hurricanes and, you know, shit gets fucked up, y'all gonna say, hey, hey, that's what your hey. own government is for. That's what hey. your own government is for. We gave you the right to do that. Y'all better protect I, yourselves. I remember when Donald Trump was like, you know what, I'm gonna go talk to the president of the Virgin Islands. I was like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, <laughs> stop, hold, flag on the play. You're the president of the Virgin Islands. You run them, bro. <laughs> I think he needs a. I think he needs an American history lesson. <laughs> if you're going to be the president, at like least know who, what you're over. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, like, no, nah, they got their own. They have their. They have their own leaders, right? If I remember correctly, they have yeah. their own leaders. Yeah. I'm over here like this. Like, yeah, I'm going to talk to the president of the Virgin Islands. Nigga, what? That's you own them. You make you make the rules for them, bro. They have the they follow American laws. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? That's like you coming home. That's like you coming home to dinner, make dinner for just you and your wife and kids over there waiting to eat. Like, oh, oh, you're here too. That's what had just happened. Especially exactly. with Puerto Rico. Especially with Puerto Rico. That was just devastating. Oh yeah. He's like, no. saying you know power. Like what? <laughs> that's your that's your stuff. Handle your business. We are a part of you. Says who? <laughs> like, this book says it. <laughs> there's, there's a there's American history book. Look at this. Yeah, bro. I ain't, you know what's crazy, bro? This is my first time actually looking at demographics on the Virgin Islands. I didn't know it was seventy six percent. Yo, we need to move to the Virgin Islands, man. What's yeah, the, man. What's we the going. Shit? We on our way. <laughs> they got four islands. We might, yeah, look, 76% black. Y'all want to be 100% black? Like, we are on our way. And we don't need a passport because it's American. <laughs> we on our way. Devolve presidential constitutional dependency. They have a governor, a lieutenant governor. Man, we on, we on our way. This is like they have a governor in the, Vir in the Virgin Islands. <laughs> Let me go speak to the president. Thank you, the president. It's good. Trump, bro, what are, you, what are you talking about, bro? Like, and people actually believe them, like, yeah, he's going to go see the president of the Virgin Islands. He is the president I'm just of the back Virgin here, Island. like, you know he's going to go there and see himself. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't be like, fooled. This man is taking a vacation, okay? He's going there to take a long vacation and then go to a, and go to a press conference conveniently in front of a helicopter, as he always does. He's like, I just spoke to the president of the Virgin Islands. We're doing really well, really great, big league, really great. Trust me, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. <laughs> the hand thing kills me. <laughs> it's a hoax. We have it. We're, we're going to, I'm going to go talk to the president of Puerto Rico next. You are also president of Puerto Rico. Hmm? I'm like, Trump, come on now. <laughs> This, like, this, this guy be my favorite president of all time. Like, everything he says, I fact check. <laughs> no reason. You got oh, to. My. You have to, bro. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> bro, I'm in Puerto Rico hey, right come now. Come on, bro. Common languages. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize Puerto Rico is 75% white. Hold on, cuz. Shit, weird. Yeah. See, this is why the Virgin Islands is cooler, bro. Man, University of Virgin Islands, bro. We are going. I'm getting my master's degree from there. <laughs> they have master's program. Let me see that master's program. I would, look, they need to. They better have a master's program. I'll be out too. there in two seconds if they had a master's program. I said, bro, I'm going to graduation. I graduate. I look. I told online. I'm going to graduation. Where you graduate from? The University uh, of, Vir of the Virgin Island. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a they have a few master's programs. I'm about to look into this. Accounting, business administration, communic no, not communication. Educational leadership. Threat. Uh, okay. Uh, marine science, of course. It's, it's an island. Uh, <laughs> uh, mathematics for secondary education. Because people need to know how to count. They do need to know how to count. 
Psychology, yep. of course. Puerto Rico as a governor. Public administration. I mean, that'd be good for you. That'd be very good. Uh, that's yeah, it. it's a wrap, bro. I'm about to go. Yeah, it's a wrap. I'm about to go to, uh, I'm about to, go to uh, the Virgin Islands. Get my message. I got you, bro. I'll, I'll be down there every weekend. Say less. <laughs> Since we ain't got to go with a passport, we good. Say less. We out here. They have a governor. It's so crazy that we let them have their own government. We send it like this. Look, y'all do what y'all, y'all got a budget. Y'all, y'all work that out yourselves. If y'all have any problems, do not call us. We got the governing body, but you are separate. Mm-mm-mm. Remember this. Remember that. I want to go to Samoa though. Let's see how they, go to, they don't even. No, I'm not trying to go to Samoa. I'm gonna try to find out what they do. No, don't Samoans hate Americans? They do. Yeah. I'm however, not I don't however, do. however, I come in peace. You can come in peace all you want. Don't mean they like. Hawaiians I come don't, in peace. Hawaiians don't even like mainland people. They don't. Like you be looking like this. Like we're all from the yo, look, bro, we're all from the same place. No, we not. I don't know what you're talking about, cuz I live here, you live there. What is it? Right. What is the same here? <laughs> you have to fly here. There's no bridge. Sensible precautions. <laughs> it said, wait, items do sometimes get stolen. <laughs> what? Items do sometimes get stolen. With sensible precautions, however, the threat of this happening should be no should be minimal. <laughs> Uh goodness gracious. The island, look, the Mar- I just really like the Mariana Island, bro, the place is poor as hell. Mm-hmm. They have a governor and a lieutenant governor. Yeah. Basically the president, you know, of their respective places. Mm-hmm. This motherfucking Guam. I forgot about Guam. Let's look up Guam. I'm looking up Guam right now. Uh, Guam. Guam. 26%, 26% Filipino. What do you guess? 7% white. 0.6% other. Government, lieutenant government, lieutenant governor, Democratic delegate in the United States Congress. Yeah. Also a very poor place. It's expensive to live there. Is of it? course it's going to be expensive. What? God dang it. You want an island. Where do you see that at? I look, uh, just I typed in Guam. I just, it has like the first like searches. Is it expensive to live there? Who owns Guam? Is Guam dangerous? That was kind of it's question. Guam dangerous. What? I've never seen Guam dangerous. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, God. They got, a, oh, they got an area code 671. We out here. Oh lord! So unfortunately, Guam, they have they have shallow and sharp reefs. So like one bad hurricane could like destroy everything. Flood like flood the islands. <laughs> I, think Vata, I think I think I think Vanuatu is gone too. A long U.S. citizens and unincorporated United States What? It's a it's a plan a trip to Guam from Detroit, Michigan. Only twenty one hours. What? That's not that's not long at all. For almost two thousand. You could be born in Guam and be a US citizen. I would I dare someone to look. If someone were to ever look at somebody like this, where are you from? Guam, go back to your homeland. I am a t- I'm a US citizen. I'm dickhead. home, bro. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a US citizen, dickhead. Google that. Don't test me, bro. <laughs> I'm from Guam, bro. The G. I'm from the G. From the G, cuz. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness. Where is Guam? Like literally next to Asia, like it's literally next to Asia. Like in relation to like Hawaii. Oh, it's further east. Oh wow, yeah, it's closer to the Philippines and Papua New Guinea. Twenty-three percent of the population is Filipino, bro. Well, yeah, I just wanted to see where it was in relation to other other big countries. I remember Palau. Remember uh, Survivor Palau. <laughs> no, nah, right. I ain't never really watched a uh, survivor like that. Oh goodness, they went everywhere. They didn't kind of want to. <laughs> Australia, that's a place oh, I want to. Guam is tax free, cause I'm about to start ordering everything from Guam. Man, we we on our way. <laughs> you know, what are we doing, Qantas or Delta? I'm like, 
Delta, flat Delta. All right. Delta one. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, all right. We'll go back to first class because those tickets are too much. From ten years ago, Guam had a per capita income of sixteen thousand five hundred and forty nine dollars. I'm going somewhere too. Oh, I better get me something. I'm going somewhere. Do Guam use the U.S. dollar? They do. Road trip. You can, you can stay in Guam for up to ninety days. If you're if you're a citizen, or if you're a non-citizen. I, I think if you are a citizen. I'm staying there for the rest of my life. I moved to Guam, sir. Well, come back home. I am home. I'm just in another <laughs> another place. Tax tax rate in Guam is only two percent. I'm at my vacation home in Guam. Two percent tax rate in Guam. You didn't know that. I'm about to buy some land. Two percent. Great debaters live from Guam. <laughs> from the northern Mar Mariana Islands. <laughs> nah, never mind, bro. I ain't moving to Guam, bro. It's expensive. <laughs> Super expensive. That Google Maps over here. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see if they. Bro, they said back. renting. They said renting. Hey, a home. we live. We got Google Maps. Hold up. <laughs> they said renting a home in Guam will cost you damn near twenty one hundred dollars. Twenty one hundred? Just renting? Yeah. For oh, wait, we live. Rent. We I out here. I ain't paying. We, we split. splitting the rent, bro. We splitting. Nigga in Guam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pay less for the, I pay less than that in America. We can we can we can go eight people in there, bro. You gotta spend two hundred dollars a month. The the minimum wage in Guam is only eight dollars and seventy five cents. All right, maybe 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 we should stay in the, the continuous forty eight states. Do you need a passport mm -hmm. to go to Guam? I don't think so. You don't. It's ours. It's ours. What the heck? I don't want to see a bat. Don't you hate it when you like drop the man on on Google Maps? You just find something stupid. There was a bat like in the front of the lens. Oh, but I don't want to see a Christ. bat. That's scary. What? what? Guam? What? People in Guam don't pay U.S. federal income tax? Gee, I'm on my way. Put a skyscraper on this island, and we good. Oh, they take the money out anyway, though. So how do how do these people live? Oh, okay, all right. We found a we found a bar. We found the bar. Oh, slash liquor store. What kind of car is that? You can buy a house in Guam. How much? No, I don't know. Like, I mean, whatever, how much the house costs. The U.S. dollars, but. Yeah, we on our way. If you are a U.S. citizen, you can buy it. You're allowed to own one property. That's it? One property in Guam, in your name. Shh. This airport looked nice though. They took this back in 20, 2017. That's not bad. They have, they have an outlet mall. Oh my God. We are live. Live from Guam. Let's see what stores they got. They got Nine West. Okay, okay. Bro, yeah. what? Hell no. Nah. No, <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not going to Guam, bro. They got Calvin Klein. <laughs> bro, I'm not going to Guam. Guess how, much a of, guess how much a gallon of milk costs in Guam? How much? <laughs> they said ten dollars. Hey, bro, you ain't supposed to be drinking that anyway. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? They did tell me I wasn't supposed to be drinking this stuff. <laughs> oh my God. You, know, you know how much a, a twelve ounce small bottle of water costs? How much? A dollar seventy two. God. <laughs> this is a restaurant. Like, no, nah, not in restaurants. Like, this is just in general. Like, oh, bro, what? A gallon of milk is ten dollars in Guam. That's just not right. You see, cost of milk in Guam. Oh, whoa! A McMill at McDonald's is eight dollars and eighty cents. You said what? Like a little meal, like a like a, probably like three ninety nine here in, in the states would cost like almost ten dollars. Prices are yeah, around cool. 
Good. I'm about to live up the land. I'm about to be skinny out here. Yeah, you won't have to. I'll be get on the Guam soccer team. <laughs> get, get me a cow so I can get my own damn milk and not pay $10 for the fucking gallon. How far is the beach? This is crazy. Wait, hold up. Oh, this is just pictures. Man, this is actually, oh, okay. It's nice though. I might move out there. I might, I might go out to Guam. It look nice. A gallon of gas will cost you four dollars and thirty one cents. All right, maybe, maybe I'll get an Uber. <laughs> maybe I'll get an Uber. <laughs> I'll get an Uber. I'll get one of them lime scooters. We good. <laughs> Bro, what? We out here. Doing too much. This island is doing too much. Look, bro, if anything, bro, I'm going to American. I'm going to American Samoa, right? Right. I can rent a studio or efficiency for 514 bucks a month. This is back in 2018. This is rental date of 2018. I'm pretty sure it's gone up now. But still, the average rent for a two bedroom home in American Samoa was only 688 dollars American. <laughs> That's like nothing you could, here, you could you could rent a house you can rent a house for like a thousand dollars a month. Oh look at this bitch though. I like this. We rolling. This is wild. We are rolling in the American Samoa. American Samoa, bro, you can stay there indefinitely visa free. We are rolling. Look at this. I'm here for it. I'll tell you this, though. I am never buying a meal at McDonald's. I mean, I'm never buying a, I'm never buying a meal at McDonald's anymore. more. <laughs> or some milk. <laughs> Bro, I'm looking at this right now. I can't believe the things I'm seeing. So we rolling. We got a Three house back here. And we got the beach. Right? Oh, what? I'm Sign me up. Look, three three course meal for two at a mid range restaurant, ninety dollars. All right, I guess we eat it from home. Eat it from home, no milk, no McDonald's. That's WST. Old... I don't know what that means in WST for Samoa. Oh, never mind. I'm looking at it now. It's way cheaper. I changed it to U.S. dollars. They were using some like different currency. We're about to be <laughs> we're about to be old people. Go to bed at seven seven o'clock. It's still expensive though. Mm -mm. And you live on an island in like tropical weather, so you gotta work. Meal, you gotta look out for the bugs and snakes and lizards. A meal, and a meal, a meal at McDonald's in Samoa will cost you eight dollars. So damn near it'll cost you nine dollars. A gallon of milk is only four dollars and eighteen cents, though. So I can deal with that. I can deal. Shit is expensive, bro. Very expensive. No, not really. I take that back. I take that back. A dollar fifty for like one way ticket on local transportation. What? Where are you gonna go? You just gotta walk like twenty minutes. You on the other side of the island? <laughs> Basically, bro. Yeah, I need some public transportation. They gonna look at you like you have two legs, don't you? <laughs> Shoot, bro, you might as well take this taxi this one mile, bro. Get it two dollars real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm not really have to go out there. You spend how much on utilities? Like four hundred and seventy bucks. I'm on my that's way. On all your, that's on all your basic utilities, four seventy. <laughs> let's start off. Though. Let's start off small first. Let's go to Puerto Rico. It's nice, it's nice and close. Then we, we do the Virgin Islands. And then we can go out west. You can rent. You can rent. You can rent out a tennis court for an hour on the weekend for five dollars and fifty-two cents. Man, we rolling. Although this, like, this uh, uh, give me a, give me a, give me court two. <laughs> this, the, average, <laughs> the average monthly price to join a gym is kind of, it's kind of pricey, but fifty dollars. Fifty for one person. That's right. It's not that bad. Though. I you could you could probably afford to live in the uh the city center. A one bedroom apartment is only going to cost you 
eleven hundred dollars. Although a three bedroom apartment costs you nine hundred and twenty dollars. So I'm not understanding the logic behind this. You don't know. <laughs> I don't get that at all. Like that must be a nice ass one bedroom apartment. Oh, or you can live outside the city and pay only three hundred dollars a month. Three thirteen to be exact. Three one three, my friend. Uh, it's gonna be just like New York City closet. Right, with a lizard probably. with a lizard saying, Hey, that's my bed. Bro, I would never like Samoa sound like a cool place, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna there's only one city. I didn't realize there's only one city in Samoa. What's it called? Uh Sophia. Uh I'll be like, Yeah, this is me. <laughs> Nah, come bro. on out, come on out, come on out to the AS. Nah, bro, I'm cool, bro. This stuff is wild. <laughs> like, I can't wild. believe these things. This is wild. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize that America had four territories. I really only knew of like three. Oh, yeah. Did you go to the Mariana Islands? I ain't going there neither. <laughs> I'm going bro. to no. I'm not going to no territory. No territory. I'm going. Bro. I'm going everywhere. Though. I ain't going to no territory where they can sit there and look at me and be like this. Yeah, man, you know, we love Americans. Lie to me. Next, you know, I got my kidneys hanging out and in a bathtub full of ice. It will not be me, sir. I gotta be a bathtub full of ice. I, I'm just based off what I've seen on movies. <laughs> You're like, what? Why is my kidneys on the boom? Basically, bro, like, why are all my kidneys? Why are my kidneys right here? What is going on? Drip, drip. <laughs> Why are all my kids? No, no. Not Let's my kids. <laughs> my kids. Not children. <laughs> yeah, bro. It can't be me, bro. It can't be me. I'm not doing it. Oh, did you see that they had um fake uh, 4PF chains at Walmart? A what? Fake 4PF chains. So it's like little baby. Uh, uh, that's his. That's his signature. Four PS. Four pockets full of money. Um, and then Walmart was selling them for like seventy bucks <laughs> on a website. Come on, Walmart. Come on, Walmart. Walmart know what they do it, bro. <laughs> and he had tweeted out. He was like, "This, yeah, Walmart got me messed up, bro." They sure do. But what the heck? Five dollar knockoff little baby chain, Walmart, by Hype Beast Complex. Um, Going in, <laughs> hip hop style fashion silver. Let me see if they let me see if they took it down. Yeah, I think they took it down. I think they took it down. Little baby about to suit them. They were selling it though. I remember seeing it. At, like I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> Like, what he's, like, he's like, Walmart got me messed up, bro. <laughs> they shoot. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah, man, I apologize. I literally forgot what we were supposed to talk about this week. <laughs> there's so much going There's just so much going on. I had nothing. Yeah, there's there. a lot going on. I'm like, what? <laughs> Hopefully this hopefully next week it'll be hopefully this upcoming week could be a little bit better because I like oh, I don't know man. I have not I have plenty of time this week because I ain't really gonna be doing nothing. Yeah, me neither. I mean I'll be yeah, traveling I mean, over the weekend, but we you gonna we you gonna do again? This weekend, uh, I don't know. I might, you know, do some Michigan, pure Michigan traveling. Are you probably going up north? Up north. To the to the islands of Mackinac. Uh, maybe not that far, but I might go to the to Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan? Yeah. As funny as it is, but I ain't never really traveled when I was in Michigan. Like I did when I had to like work my little summer job, but I was literally driving between like Ann Arbor and Grand Rapids. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta and, do like, Toledo, thirty more minutes, then, you'll be at the at the at the lake. And then like Toledo and then like Toledo, Ohio. What what'd you just see? Something just happened? What just happened? What? I thought you just saw something just something just happened. No, I'm looking at prices for uh, apartments. No, where are you trying to? You moving out? Yeah, I, I got to. No, you can't do it. You can't stay. Can't be at home no more. 
I can't. There's no AC over here, bro. I can't do it no more. 25 years with no AC. 25 with no AC? 25. This is my last straw. You got a you got a window in there at least? Yeah, yeah, I got a window. Last night was so horrible. I was like, bro. You put the fan in the drum? There's gotta be something better than this. <laughs> you put a you put a you put a fan in the drum? Nah, bro. I just get my I just get my door open. <laughs> you said I just keep my door open? Mm-hmm. That's dead, Rodney. That's life right there. That is dead, baby, honey. <laughs> I can't get I can't get jiggy with that one. I'm like, bro, help me out. I wish I could, man. This is wild. Yeah. Yeah, this this place is nice, though. I might I'm gonna go check it out probably this weekend. Or tomorrow. I might just show up, be like, hey bro. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Nah, yeah, yeah, there. See, yeah, my boy's moving a little closer to you in South Philly. So, hey, man, there's a lot to do down here. I ain't gonna hold him up. So that should be good. It's a lot to do down here. I mean, we're not too far from Center City, so it's like, literally, do what you want. Right. No. But yeah. Nah, bro. I'll just let me, let me try to look at one more absurd thing before we get out of here. Hey. Outside of seeing like Karen reaction videos. <laughs> Yo, did you, did you see that? Did you see that one video with the with the woman screaming at the one driver because it was in the crosswalk and she was trying to walk in the crosswalk? She's like, this nah, is my crosswalk, and you're in the middle know. of it. I was like, I go around that. the car, stupid. <laughs> nah, that's not a Banging on the car and stuff. If, if someone bangs on my car like that, somebody's getting whooped. We got uh, to talk here for a second. Cause, uh, somebody's getting ran over by a uh, Jeep compass. <laughs> Oh, that's not nice. I might look good. As long as I can live at large. Let's see here. It says the scientists have developed a powerful new way to fight the virus. Let's talk about this. You know what? Yeah, since this did happen. What's up with scientists wanting to use have, saying that black people need to be a part of these coronavirus studies? No, we don't. You see that? Did you see that? No, I didn't see it. They were like, we, they were like, we need black test, we need black uh, test subjects for coronavirus experiments. I was like, not again. Y'all did that with Tuskegee. Mm-mm. With Tuskegee, you did it with us with the syphilis. Y'all did it with us. What else? What else did? What else did they do? This did shoot the Berlin Conference where they didn't consult no African countries to split up Africa. <laughs> we don't need this. <laughs> We don't need this. 1884, guys. Know your history. (laughs) Know your history. 1884, the Berlin Conference, where they were like this. So we're going to split up Africa into these sections right here. France, you'll get these. Belgium, you'll get these. There's no African countries there. We're like, wait, wait, wait. Who? Who? Who's We of of the United Kingdom will get these countries, and then we'll divvy up the rest, depending on how everything goes. African countries like this. We have our own government. Had. Had your own government, sir. You had them. (laughs) You had your own government, sir. Goodness gracious. What type of, what type of shit? <laughs> I love history. It's just it's just a big soap opera. Now what about yeah. us? What about us? What about you? It's not about you, sir. It's not about you anymore. Tear. <laughs> it's so crazy that people really like don't look at these things. Like they split up an entire continent. A continent, not a country. Based, a based on European powers. An entire continent. That's life right there. And then decide to like you know do what America did. We gonna bring in our traditions and our culture, and affect the you know direct populations of these places. Now you got people speaking all types of languages across Africa. They ain't had their own language no more. It's just wild. That's that's crazy. That's just wild. And then people have the nerve to look at like <clears throat> I'm not trying to be that dude. White people. 
have the nerve to sit there and be like this. We're not conquerors. What? You're not? I, I couldn't tell me. You could not tell me. I need to I'm, I'm sorry. That's doing too much. You're trying to, oh, you're thinking at the studio? I looked at the studio. I was like, uh, I need a bedroom. If I, I got like, I gotta have a, I gotta have a separate room for Chris Cross Studios, you know. <laughs> you don't want to just do it in your living room where you sleep. All right, guys, I'm about to roll over and go to sleep now. All right, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the other room. Move the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, I start from yeah. the bottom, right? Is that booted curtain? I don't hurt. Shh. Nah, if I, like, if I had to, like, um, yeah. if I was living with my girl, I'd sit there, like, I'd get the, uh, I would have got a studio. For one, it's cheaper in Philadelphia. I'd for sure would have got a studio. If I was going for, if I was going for, like, the no roommate route and one bedroom apartments, we'd sit there and be like this. We need. Twelve hundred dollars for you to live here by yourself. Twelve hundred. Oh, Dre, that's not by bad. myself for a one bedroom apartment. I'm not paying twelve hundred dollars. I'd rather get six hundred dollars a paycheck. We good, somebody. <laughs> we out here. No, we're not. <laughs> we are when out here. Just, when I could just find the apartment. Um, I found a studio for the eight, the eight ball. And I can sit there and be like this, but all my bills on top of that, I ain't spending no more than like a thousand a month. Man, I'm still walking away with some money. I think I, got, I still got to pay off my car though. That's best. Do you? Yeah, I think I have one more year. I think, or less than a that's, year. That's not bad. That's, that's not bad. Deal. But I'm, but, but I'm, but I'm over miles though. You got a, you got a note or you got a lease? Lease. Uh, if, yeah, you fucked up there. I'm a little over, but. It's not. It's not that bad. You they'd be like, they'd be like, oh, you gotta pay for this. I'll be like, ah, got it. I mean, that's a good thing about staying home. Though. You get to save a little bit more money than usual. Run it. No, no, I ain't got the money now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have it once I, once I uh -oh. get closer to the time to get rid of the jeep. But right now, shoot. And Trump was like, uh, I'm gonna give you guys another stimulus check. I'd be like, all right, send it, send it my way. That's my yeah. over miles money. <laughs> we're not we're not getting that check, bro. Shoot. If I was coaching, bro, I get so much more money now, but I didn't coach because of COVID. Like that sometimes, man. Just COVID messed that. my COVID messed my financial life up. I had a second job. And I missed the, the second money from my second job. Shoot, that's a third job. Shoot. That was actually extra six hundred bucks a month. And I have not I have not been getting. That's Thank you, COVID. COVID. But the gym, we're I expecting to open a gym back up in July, though. So a few more, a few more weeks. Hey. Unless we have spikes and, you know, COVID. You, you already know they about that. <laughs> it's second coming. Wave, <laughs> second, second wave. It's already, it's already starting to hit. Here it comes. <laughs> second wave gonna come in hot, straight fire. Kitchen, pool, Drake. I don't want to be nice to all these kids. My man was like, I didn't know Jerry Leto was the front man for uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. Goodness gracious. I haven't seen that show in a long time. You talking about that band? I mean, the, the band. I haven't seen that in a long time. I haven't heard about them in a long they time. They stopped making music. Like, jeez. Was this Big Gretch block Trump rallies in Michigan? I don't think Big Gretch. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we, ain't, we ain't playing that. I guess you have to redeem yourself for what you did before that. <laughs> we got the stress. We got big grit. We got the stress. We got big grit. Red? Oh, we change. We changing this whole thing. What do you think about living? I'm about to show. I'm about to show up with paint buckets. I'm, I'm you about to show up with paint buckets. <laughs> yeah. I want to live like between Ann Arbor and where I, where I coach, so like Dearborn or uh, Ann Arbor Canton. and Dearborn. So I like Canton area. I want to live that, bro. If I if I work in the city, bro, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna stay near the city. I mean, I don't work I don't work in Detroit. I work in Ann Arbor, but I don't want to live oh, in do Ann Arbor. You? I don't want to live in Ann Arbor. <laughs> That's the thing. So you gonna live in Ipsy again? No, I I refuse to live next to Eastern ever. Refuse. Really? I would rather live. In Canton. 
next to Ikea so I can have all my stuff that's delivered in one day. That's good though. Like that or Belleville. Mm, Belleville's all right. Belleville's all right. I live in Belleville if I was or can if I was over there. I don't want to. I don't want to be next to ninety four. <laughs> I'm constantly yeah, like, I don't want to be next to ninety four. I you want to live next to two seventy five instead. Yeah. M ten. M ten on the lodge with it. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Uh, M fourteen. I'd rather be over there. That's a. That's oh, a. Real? That's a ten minute drive to work every day. We good. As opposed to thirty five minute drive that I do now. <laughs> yeah, proximity is important. I used to when I worked at M dot downtown. I used to just ten minute drive. That's it. Down down ninety six. Excuse me. Not no more. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We got big grits. She don't take it. <laughs> we got big grits. I mean, I'm trying. I'm, I'm. I'm waiting for her to lower that. Uh, lower the uh, auto insurance. We're waiting. That, that that'll be the day. Once she owns. Once she does that, you'll see a lot of black people moving back to the city. <laughs> oh, sick. It sucks, bro. Anybody would, bro. All right, what? Everybody's moving back. <laughs> bro, Seven miles a cup. What? Right, look. You know, happy people would be if she was like this. Yeah, I'm going to lower the insurance. Um, You no longer have to pay an arm and a leg on top of your car note. You're like, what? You no longer have to rich. give up an, an entire paycheck for your car every for month. For a car. More, some, some is more, it's more than a paycheck. Depending on what crazy. car you got. Depending on what car you got. Boy, I'll be looking at some people with their cars and I'll be like this. But now you know you just bought this 2020 Charger scat pack. You know, your car know already going to be five. And you know your insurance is going to be high. Five. Literally. Your car know the five. Your That's insurance about car to <laughs> Hellcat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's your car note. You already know that's going to be a, a good three, four hundred a month. Yeah, yeah, but you tripping, tripping on that one. I can't do it, bro. That means I got to work at 7 Eleven. I can't do <laughs> it, bro. You be sitting there looking at people like this. Mom, no, no. I'll be in there with uh, no cable. <laughs> like, you had nothing in your apartment. Like, you over here like this. Hulu, Netflix, <laughs> like CNN on demand. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go check them out. It's gonna be in no, Canton, bro. Canton is not a bad place, bro. I will live in Canton. I'm the nicer side of Canton. The nicer side of Canton. Is there a bad part? Not, of not the expensive nice side, because I can't afford that. But the nice side next to IKEA. <laughs> Is there an expensive party can? I know there's an expensive yes. party can. Like the, the they like Cherry Hill Village, like they make these new condos and stuff over there. It's yeah. Super expensive, yeah. Like a one bedroom is like twenty five hundred. Hell no. I'd be like, nah, no, bro. No. At least you get a garage with heat. <laughs> you get a garage with heat. Hey, bro. So some people, that's a deal breaker right there. I'd be like, yeah, heat in the garage. Say heat in the garage. It's my twenty five hundred. They got heat in his garage. Let me see. Park West. Yeah, the lowest one is twenty two forty nine. Nope. Not today. Here it's just on. me. Yeah, you know, great to better is better pay forty nine dollars a month. <laughs> Son. We can't. We, we can't just doing go. this for free. We're just doing this for free. We've been doing this for fun. I need money. Put in the group chat. All right, y'all. Twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Just to be on. Just to be on. Just to be bucks. on. Make sure you have a business. Oh, you can go. shout it out. People are going to be looking at you like this. What you mean? <laughs> this is going to be you and me. Basically. Hey, bro. Welcome to the great debaters. What we debating today, what we debating today, Chris? What we debating today, Chris? How you ripped everybody away? Yes. <laughs> oh, this, so fucked up. this is crazy. This is crazy. Life is life is getting worse. About to get worse. <laughs> it's just getting bad. They did a my, one of my two of my players did a high five today. They're like, "Yeah, man, you scored." I was like, <gasps> "Corona." 
You got it. You over here looking at him like this. No, people people who looked at me, all the parents were like, I was like, Corona. <laughs> you over here looking at your man like this. You just got the Rona, cuz. You just oh, got dude. it. What's wrong you with you, man? Why you, you just want to die? <laughs> you just want to die? <laughs> nah, really. I just wilding you out. <laughs> wilding. You wilding, wilding. Nah, bro, just, just bad out here. Nah, I'm like, uh, I like Ken. Ken's nice. I haven't spent a lot of time in Ken. I never spent a lot of time in Ken, but Ken's nice. Plus, they have this huge Ken Cup soccer tournament. You can get like $400 a day. Who? Like, just by refereeing soccer games for one day. Make how much of a day? 400 I don't even if know you, much about it. If you do like the bigger people now. games. I don't know much about soccer now, but hey. I'll stand in the middle of the field and blow a whistle all day. $20, $20, $20 right there. Not doing a damn thing. That's my utility right there. I'm sorry. Facts. You laugh. I'm serious. I'm serious. I called them. I was like, I, 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 I can pay it off in a, in a month. They're like, okay, you got the utilities. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, no. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's talk about these utilities now. What utilities one more, are you talking one more about? Again. One more again. It was like traffic. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, how much does it cost? It's like, I need that. I need that. Need that. Because I'm expensive, you know, Bryce. I'm very expensive. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that uh I'm need that trash taken out. <laughs> need that trash. I'm gonna need my trash taken out. I'm not gonna be walking all the way to the end of the street. I ain't listening to you, bro. Oh, I want to look this up. You know, did you know it was a Detroit organ? I didn't know that. A what? A Detroit organ. A what? Drake. Drake. Making pancakes every morning. It's like I ain't making pancakes every morning. And tomorrow, I'm making waffles. I'm making waffles. <laughs> if I had to live, if I had to move back to Detroit, bro, let me see this real quick. Man, we moving back. They got some nice places for like a thousand a month, though. In, in, in Detroit? Yeah, look at it. In Detroit, Michigan. In Probably Detroit, not like you, anywhere you, near it. Not... You're deep in it. You ain't too deep. <laughs> Let me look at this real quick. It's like a nice little spot. It's a nice little house. You're like seven mile and seven uh, state fair and grass shit. <laughs> now I see the photos. Let me see the photos. You're like, what? My friend was like, he stayed at state fair and grass shit. I'm like, all right, Godspeed. I don't see the other photos. I'm trying to see the inside of the place. Oh, this is annoying. I hate when I can't figure out how to work a. Uh... I just want the photos. I'm just getting my photo. I'm like, it doesn't move. Hey, that's annoying. It doesn't move. What? I'm trying to look at the photos for this place. I saw for uh, Lord. Hubbard Richard. Oh, Hubbard Richard? Oh, no. I don't know about that. What are you, at downtown? Uh, it's a cover, suburb says uh, close to downtown Corktown in southwest Detroit. So, Hubbard Richard. We need to. Uh, hold up now. Hold up. I got you. That's by the bridge. Is it bad? So one bedroom. It looked nice though. If I can see the photos of it, that'd be cool. But I can't see the photos. Was it an apartment? It's like a house. Like a house for rent. Is it like it's a tall house feet. with a gate? Gates around it, like red brick. Yeah. It was a 950, right? Uh, 850. Uh oh. Okay, 850. 24th Street. Oh, shit. I just exited out of it. Uh, kind of yeah, rich. yeah, 24th Street. This ain't bad. For some reason, I can't see the photos of it, so I'm like, it's I started getting mad. I got you, I got you. It looks nice. Sure, no, I got it now. Never mind. I look updated and shit. That's not bad, though. 850. I live there. That's that southwest side. They got gates on everything. <laughs> I live there for sure. Like my, my man Bryce. They got you a $750 apartment in Midtown Detroit. 
We live next to, next to Sicily's. Sicily's Pizza. <laughs> in Midtown, it was nine fifty. They dropped the price down two hundred. So there's something going on with this place. I've heard that before. I've heard that. The Sicily's Pizza is right down the street. <laughs> See, if, there, if there's anything I love about living in the Midwest. Is that like it's a lot cheaper to rent a space than it is in Philadelphia? Oh yeah, because like at least there it's kind of like yo, we just need first and last. Here's like yo, I need first and last and a security deposit. You over here like this? Hold up, cause you need what? What and what? First, last, and security. You ain't getting that out of me. Let's talk to her. She over here though, saying like just a five hundred dollar. Over here just says like a five hundred dollar deposit. I'm like five hundred dollar deposit. Hold up, sir. Right. Plus rent? Easy money. You can say that up in no time. Yeah, but none of these ain't too bad, though. I, I fuck with these for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, rent a house in Detroit for the low. Ain't bad. I'm getting high price. That's the how's it going on the southwest side? <laughs> Chilling, bro. You know, I was about to go to Corktown, you know, in a little bit. <laughs> Working for it because they're moving the court to court too. Are they? Yeah. I don't think I ever worked for an automotive company. New, I don't know new, about it. New headquarters is going to be in court too. I don't know if I can live in auto, work for automotive. This is the tiniest house in this neighborhood. <laughs> Remember that last time you were looking at houses in Detroit? Man, I can't even look at houses in Detroit. The ones that I could afford, I'd be like, bam. Like, you ever thought about just renting out a house? I mean, it's kind of like ultimately ineffective, but. You gotta freaking like start a bonfire to get heat. You said what? I start a bonfire to get heat. No, you don't. This is bad. This is all bad, bro. Take it from me, bro. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. They're like the deposit is not that bad. Like eleven twenty-five. Yeah, they're gonna take that, bro. Hey, they're gonna give it back. <laughs> no, nah, I mean that's that's like wit, that's like wit rent. Oh wow, this is nice too. Riverfront Towers, fourteen hundred. That's not bad. Riverfront Towers. I'm not paying that cash, so I'll split it with somebody. Oh yeah, I ain't paying that cash. You live right off the riverfront. That look, Riverfront Towers is all I need to do. No, but this is cheap though for Riverfront. Fourteen hundred is cheap. I see oh, the ones is. like more down towards the Vincent. That's like at least thirty eight hundred. Get a nice house for rent for only nine fifty a month in Gross Point Park. That's not bad. You have to get used to the white people, though. Yeah, you know, sacrifices. <laughs> sacrifices. Where's, sacrifices. Our, where's, where's, the, where's the art center in Detroit? The art center is like. So, like, in the heart of downtown? Art center, no, it's in, it's in Midtown. It's like, it's like you know, where, uh, you know where Wayne State is, right? Yeah. It's like east of Woodward. It's like by the, I, uh, it's like by the DIA. I didn't realize how many like houses you could just rent. Like it's a lot of homes you could just rent, like affordable price out there. Is Which is kind of nice though. Are they fooling? You want me to pay twenty three hundred dollars? You said twenty hundred dollars. Twenty three hundred. No nice. sir. Unless you, unless I got me a room. Yeah. I got me a roommate. Shoot. Shoot. I offer to, you know, trim the trim the trees as well. Maybe. For a thousand. <laughs> I was not live. Oh yeah, here we go. That section eight. We all here. She. <laughs> he said she. She. Maybe you be pulling into the apartment complex. You see me cutting some grass. <laughs> so yeah, bro, that goes great. He got, the, he, he got that riverfront house. He got that riverfront uh, penthouse. <laughs> like, Chris, you live here. I know I live here. Don't tell me I live here. I know that. I know, bro. Oh. Keeps me alive. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Why is it income restricted? Are these Section 8 housing? Is this Section 8 housing I live in? I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Let me see. You ever hear of uh, Genesis Villas apartment? The what? <laughs> Where are you at? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, um, I, I was just clicking on something, but it was like um, income restricted. And I'm like, what? What? They're accepting applications for a wait list. 
So you never know anything can happen. Anything can happen. Total annual household income cannot exceed the following amount. In one a one person home, you can't exceed the amount of twenty four thousand. What the fuck? This, this picture. Look at look at uh, city club apartments. <laughs> They're on the east side of downtown. They're like we're know? super. We're uh, city club apartments, Lafayette Park. Just city the picture. <laughs> city club apartments. Anybody They're like. They're like, we're super close to downtown, <laughs> but on the map, <laughs> you're not close to downtown. Maybe they got like funny. they got the they got the building sticking out the map. <laughs> they got downtown in the, in the background. <laughs> Let me show you. Hold up. I'm looking at I'm looking for it right now. Yeah, I got you. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I see it. Look at this. <laughs> the building's this big. <laughs> but downtown is way <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad Photoshop job. They was like this. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah what, what parts are downtown? No, you're not. You like a good one, two, three. You're a good ten blocks away. You're over here like this. Ten no, you're a liar. You're a liar. That's what you are. <laughs> it is a good bike ride over downtown. I want to find that. <laughs> There are so many places in the city of Detroit that I don't know about. But like if I wanted to live, like I want to be, if I like want to live in the city, I want to be in the city. Like, so you in the in the city? We got you. Hold up. I'm looking at them right now. Okay. We live. Oh, that one John I was looking at on uh, 24th Street, right there, right outside of Detroit. I need that. It's at 24. Yeah, that one place I was telling you about. Okay, okay. I'm about to say 24. That's nowhere in downtown. Hold up. <laughs> What is it? That's Tarno. You know what Tarno Avenue is? No. Oh, that's that's kind of scary. You got me. <laughs> you tapped me there. He's like, I'm on Tarno Avenue. Place. All right, bro. I'll, I'll tell the cop. I'll tell the cop. I'll tell the cops where you at. Let me look at it real quick. I ain't quick. coming for you. <laughs> Tondo for lit. It's 10 minutes from Henry Ford Hospital. Too far. <laughs> This isn't bad. You gotta make at least three grand a month, but gotta be hustling. How much does one bedroom mean? If that's a thousand. Bro, what? Eighteen hundred. This has to be a house. Like this has to be a house. There's no way that this is not a house. They asking for too much. That's like, the bathroom, I, the first door, the first. Give me the there. exterior view, because they talking about you got to do lawn and snow care is all you. So this is a house house. Sliding glass bad. doors, Drake. There's two bedrooms though for only seven hundred dollars a month. That's not bad, especially in Detroit. It's like right outside the city for real. But again, I want to be in, in the city, so let me go ahead and find a nice little studio, you know. All right, we got breaking news from the Woj. What was that? J.R. Smith is going to be replacing Avery Bradley on the, the Lakers? On the Lakers? What yeah. the fuck? I'm actually kind of mad about that, to be honest with you. Yeah. I really thought Anthony Avery Bradley was really uh, starting that's not, that's not that's not even That's not even the worst thing that's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I'm listening. I'll breaking hear. news. Breaking news from the world of soccer. Go ahead. Hit that on me. Chelsea, Chelsea, which is part of the English Premier League, it's about uh-huh. to uh-huh. emerge for a 120 million euro trade for Cristiano Ronaldo, who plays on Juventus right now, I think. Yeah, yeah, he plays on Juventus. You said 120 million. What? 120 million euros. How much is that American? Oh. It's a lot. It converted as 135 mil American. They got just they, they got too much money. I can't even afford them on FIFA. That's not even funny. Like, that's a video game. <laughs> I gotta trade up my whole team, all the scrubs. 
basically. For half, no for, just for half of Cristiano Ronaldo. No subs. No subs. This, no subs. Like, yeah, nobody cares, Martha. I'm stepping down. We, you've been stepped down. You ain't been part of the Lions thing since. Jesus. This ain't bad. I live here. If I, was, if I was back over there, I live here. 1130 Holcomb. 11 what? Holcomb. 1130 Holcomb. Holcomb. Five, five minute bike ride from Belle Isle, West Village, and Eastern Market. That's not bad. Less than 10 minutes from downtown. Get your own little thing. Or downtown Trader Grove's Point. All units include water and are pet friendly. You got to pay a fee though. Gated parking available for a fee. There is a coin. There is also off street parking, so you do not have to park in the gate. What? What is? What is the difference between the different things? Hold up. They're the same thing. Why are they costing so much? You just have to look. look you just gotta make at least twenty nine thousand a year to live here. At least twenty nine thousand. You be a stripper, of shit. <laughs> That's not bad. I mean, it's like eight oh five a month. Eight oh five, Drake. But it's not where you're trying to live, though, fam. Hold up! Wait a minute. Twelve twelve hundred downtown. Downtown where? Downtown Detroit. So I know. We might get this before they take it away. <laughs> no damn well I ain't trying to live over there. Where's twelve hundred? Downtown. This is too open for me. I can't live in this place. <laughs> it's like literally your bedroom is a part of the kitchen. Hey bro. You look nice. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay. Gotta get a shower curtain. Spread it out. No, nah, I mean, like, it looked nice. Is it worth the price, though? Ain't no pictures, though, so they, they scan it. Is it worth the price? Application fee. Hey, does this come furnished? It better be furnished. Unless I'm playing for it. Oh, you, can, you can get it furnished or unfurnished. Hmm. Eight twenty-five a month. Why heat and water is included? Don't try. You can rent an AC in the summer months, so it doesn't come with AC. Um, it will when I get there. <laughs> or bring your own. You just have to pay your own electric bill. Hmm. Don't be like. <laughs> It was on a, on a Willy Wonka. It's your husband's life or a box of Wonka bars. He was like, "How long do you? How long do you have me to think it over?" I was like, "Damn, I'm about to keep. Do I'm about I, to die. Help <laughs> do me. I love my husband? <laughs> do I love my husband? Does he love me? It's your husband's life or your box of Wonka bars." That man was uh, frustrated, bro. <laughs> he was like, "Are you kidding me, Roxanne?" <laughs> You got to ask right now? Do I have to answer right now? Like, yes! <laughs> Please, it would help me. <laughs> okay, we're here with it. Let me go ahead and get that studio. That's all I could afford. Man. I'm going to find some way to afford this stuff. I'm going to find some way. I'll work at McDonald's. No, I work at McDonald's. I work somewhere. I work, at, I, work, I work at the freaking 7-Eleven downtown. Nah, bro. Fuck that 7-Eleven. All Indian people. It wasn't there when I needed it. <laughs> it wasn't there when I needed it. Yeah. I was highly upset. Highly the, one upset. Of, the, one of, the one of Jefferson, man. That's just hood. <laughs> yeah, the one of Jefferson. He said, man, all we got is Red Pop. I was like, what? You ain't got no other slushy flavors? Oh, you got this grape and red pop? Are you serious? 
He was like, oh, we got his red pop. Oh, you got his red pop? I had to get high pitched on him, too. You looking at your man like this. I ain't got Sprite, ginger ale. They, they had Sprite once, but it was like the Sprite, uh, was it the, the lemon or ginger one? I don't know. Trash. I was like. <gasps> Big trash. I ain't going. You're lucky I'm not rich because I, I put a Sonic right across the street. <laughs> I opened up a Sonic right across the street. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad thing. That would not be a bad though. Put a, I don't a like, Sonic. I, I don't right really like there. Sonic. I ain't owe you. I just like the slushes. I don't eat the food. I barely I eat like, the food. I don't like Sonic. It's not my favorite. That food is like, eh. Like them slushes? Oh, mm-hmm. them slushes. That's exactly what it is. It's their their slushes are way better than 7 Eleven. Actually, no, 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven has better slushes. There you go. But Sonic does it for me. And then COVID is here, so. I hate you. <laughs> Sonic does it for me, but then there's. 7 Eleven is. 7 Eleven is. The health has it now. <laughs> That's a wrong for me. I don't want to run over wrong, bro. Such a pod. What? I got some. That's a studio apartment. In Ann Arbor. Mm, is it I a studio or is it a room for rent? I, I ain't trying to rent no room. I live in up there. You live in AA? I live in AA. I wouldn't live up there. I'm not. No. Just the things I've, I've experienced and things I've seen out there. What are you experiencing saying in Ann Arbor about places? Just like, ju- just like Rolling Stone, Ann Arbor does not care about black people. <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> don't get that. Don't say that, bro. You don't get that. The city's going to come in. I don't care if the city come after us. I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, I can't deal with this. I'm just telling the truth. Wait, is this a two bedroom or are you renting a room here? What is it? It's a wood bridge. Furnished private and suite bathroom ah. and three bedroom. We not be close apartment. I'm living right across the street from LCA. <laughs> the apartments so are so high. Are you renting a room? Thirty-five hundred. <laughs> They're doing the most. Deposit on the, the deposit on this five thousand two hundred. <laughs> How much? Five thousand two hundred for the I'm deposit. Cool, yeah. <laughs> nah, round cool. If you want to live there per month, it's thirty-five hundred. We get, we get, we get throw hands. It's nice though. I'm, I ain't gonna hold you. I live in Ann Arbor. I got a chance to. What your what your uh, what car did you have? Huh? Which, what, what car did you have? The Chevy uh, Aveo. <laughs> I did have an Aveo. And no, no, that thing was rolling though. Hey, look, bro. It was that it was warm. Rolling. It was warm in the winter. That's all you need to know. The heat worked fine. Man, I, I had I had the Grand Prix roll. The Grand Prix did nothing for me in the winter. <laughs> nothing. You start the car. You you finally get one once you park your car at Easter. <laughs> nah, bro. My, look, like, what? Nah, bro. My jaw was going. As soon as yeah, I hop in the whip, <laughs> give me five minutes. You be breathing. Your your breath. You can see your breath all the way down down the door. Give me, give me five one. minutes. Give me five minutes, and we we was rolling, rolling. They caught my beard. <laughs> and, then, and then the engine would be like not working right. So you'd be going down down the <laughs> door at forty miles an hour. He said the engine would not be working right. Engine would be like, hey, bro, you gotta give me some time. <laughs> what is this in Florida? Oh, Chick fil A. Oh, they got bi oh, they got bi level apartment. Mm-hmm. I'm on my living here. It's only $1,000 a month. Where you at? I'm in it. I'll be right now. I want to know where it is. Redford? The what? Redford, Michigan. Rapper's not that bad. That's why the West Siders escape. The black niggas from the West Side <laughs> they escape to go to Redford. So it's, it's 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 just it's just the West Side extended. Plymouth, you live in Plymouth. Plymouth, Plymouth's not that bad. It's like a it's I'm, like a it's like a smaller Ann Arbor. I literally went. To, I've literally been to Plymouth like one time, and it was like to go to some famous burger place. And that was it. 
This could this this might be part of my pre Michigan tour. Hold up. Yeah, the at one time. See, the only thing I don't like about these apartments over here is that they're not like updated. Yeah. Like everything inside is like still. What the burger spot? Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. This looks fire though. It's like a famous burger spot in Plymouth. Uh oh, wait. <laughs> I'll show you the phone. <laughs> Wait, you see all this great food, but then you see seats. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> oh. <gasps> they have seats. They let people sit there. <laughs> they let people sit down in your establishment. How dare you? How dare First you? First it's those damn straws on the in the turtles. Now it's seats. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, where's my straw? I, I I didn't know anything about it, and the white lady, the the the, the barista was like, uh, "We're trying to save the turtles." I was like, "What does it have to do with my straw?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know anything about it, so I looked it up. I was like, said, what, "Oh, what do with my straw?" It's a wrap. I need a straw. <laughs> I would totally rent out a two bedroom here in Plymouth. This is what I like. You never know what you're going to need an extra bedroom for. I have a friend come over. You might want to just make it into an office. Chris Cross is coming over, baby. I'm going to live down the street. <laughs> I'm going to live down the street in Canton. So. And it's not, it's only like, it's only like, literally like $50 more than the one bedroom. Yeah, I just get the two. Might as well. The deposit is only $500. We can, we can have two offices. We're going to expand uh, Chris Cross Studios. <laughs> Can't yeah, offer Chris Plymouth office. I'm at Chris's house today. Uh, <laughs> live from Kansas. Live from Kansas. <laughs> and then the rent includes water and heat, so you ain't got to worry about paying for those. Your electric bill might be high as hell, though. I'm lighting candles. Huh? I'm lighting candles. I'm <laughs> lighting candles. We don't use lights here. I am saving money now. Yeah. yeah yeah, like it's not included. Yes, it is. Oh, we can. Why did I never look at Can before? Like, why did I never look at Plymouth before? Plymouth looked real nice. Yes, it is. She was like, your, she was like, your, your utilities won't be included. I was like, yes, they will. <laughs> you better add them in because I will not remember to pay them. <laughs> I'm about to move here for no, with no utilities. You better check my time, show. I ain't got no pets, so I won't be a nuisance to you or me. What you thought this was, man? You, you, about it. What? Not, not Friday nights. There might be some noise, but hey, you already yeah, know. Friday night. Friday night <laughs> might be some noise. Might be, might be some noise. Might be, might, might be a few people noise. over. When we do the I great debaters. When we do the great debaters, everybody in the crib. You could be on the episode if you want to for a lower rent. For lower, for lower rent. <laughs> I'm trying to get lower rent, bro. Uh, hey, you see me out there. Rent, you see me out there with a weed whip. <laughs> Negotiate everything. Hey, bro. It's two hundred dollars off my rent. <laughs> How expensive is it to live in Nova? Nova. I was gonna live out of Nova, but then I look at the tra the traffic patterns of how people drive and miss the. You you have that access. You have that access. I don't have that access. I was like, fan. If you want to get from <laughs> Nova to downtown in rush hour traffic, it's gonna take you an hour. I'll I'll just go at seven o'clock when everything dies down. No, no, in Nova, that's like the farthest, so it won't die out to like 7.38. For traffic? I don't even make no sense. But it starts that's at like 5, the, that's, like the, that's like the farthest people go. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, Rush Hour in Detroit, they start at like 3. <laughs> oh, you could live right here. I live in, you know where I would never live? Southfield. Southfield's okay. You gotta, you gotta live in like the north part of Southfield, though. More white people. I hate you. I'm just saying. I'm just like saying the truth. Towards, like going towards what Beverly Hills? Yeah, Beverly Hills and Bloomfield Hills and Farmington Hills out there. Oh, those places. Where it's nice and quiet. <laughs> nice and quiet. I ain't got nothing to worry about. They're close to the eight mile, you know. Captain J's. You know. <laughs> Captain J's. <laughs> you're going to get that crowd. Captain J's. I've still only ever been there once. I want to go back. Ooh, Man, 
That was good. Was good. Slap. Was good. Was I, I can I can only go there once a month. <laughs> you gonna go there once a month? Once a month. I gotta stay away from it. Why? Because now <laughs> did, did I tell you the story about what I did during quarantine? <laughs> Oh, you had the like the fifty piece. With the piece. fifty piece, yeah. <laughs> I did that for like three weeks. I was like, "Hey, bro, this is a fifty piece for this week. That's going to spread out for four days." You disgust me. <laughs> Again, bro, this is a. This I is was doing my apartment. own quarantine. <laughs> this is another apartment, bro. It's two bedrooms. It's only like fifty bucks more than the one. I'm, I'm just pay that extra fifty. <laughs> Let's go. Close the highways, off street parking. The only thing is like Apple Pines. Pines is included. Close to bus line, South of School District. What else is included? I don't want to just be paying like a thousand dollars for rent. And then like my, my utilities is gonna run me like an additional three. I don't wanna do that. But then I'll be living poor. Like let your bill gonna be small because it's just me. But you got black I'm right just, down the street. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting inter- I'm just getting internet. <laughs> Just kidding. What is going on, Bryce? <laughs> I'm watching TV shows on YouTube because it's all I can afford. Hey, man, I ain't mad at you for that. Cable is expensive. It was expensive as fuck. You, plus, you don't even watch TV all day. So why are you paying for it for all day? You paid all day prices. Sports. Sports. You just got you it paying sure. all day prices for three hours. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm the type of dude who called Comcast and like this. I just want the sports channels. I don't want nothing else. Sports channels. How much is that going to run me? I don't, even, I don't even want basic cable. I just, I just no, y'all on. said y'all had ESPN four. I'm <laughs> you said I could watch ESPN three on TV. What is wrong? What is the Where problem? are my Eagles? <laughs> where are my Eagles? I got where, NFL Network or, for this or, very reason. Or, or the old people. Where are my Herons at? Where are my where Herons? Are the herons? <laughs> so you realize that's a racist term? Where are the Herons? You're a racist term. <laughs> I would love to like, you say uh, that. They're not here anymore. I want to see the Herons play. Well, you're not going to see they, them today. They don't, you're going to they see, don't agree. You're going to see the Eagles play. And, uh, uh, well, that's a nice house. Who are these Eagles you speak of? What the hell? Four, three thousand dollars. I don't know. That you said how much? Three thousand dollars. But it, it's a house, though. No, so, that, so that's just that. You're not even, you're not even thinking about DTE coming to your house. <laughs> You're shutting off your power. <laughs> like, bam! I paid the rent, but you didn't pay the electricity. <laughs> Baby electric bill. <laughs> but, but the rent. They're the going to come back bill. there with rubber gloves, just... <laughs> 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 Man, it's like, October. I'm going to be cold. Like this, but, but the rent, the electric bill, though. You'll be on the porch. <laughs> oh, you know, I no, man. <laughs> I didn't know about the electricity. I ain't got nothing. I feel like that's a guru. <laughs> Royal Oak, I feel like it's expensive to live in Royal Oak. Oh, Royal Oak, don't even look it up, bro. You're going to be mad. I'm looking it up right now. I'm looking up the places up to a, up to a G. You are going to be mad. I'm looking at places up to a G. I'm not looking at anything crazy. No, that's not. No, 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 no. Hold up. Thank you. Hey, my thing's still on there. Hey. Hey, that's just too much. Well, I'm about to free save rent. me. I'm about to one save me. What? I know one month of free rent. I will take it. You tell me if I bring a pet, I got to pay an additional hundred dollars a month. Sure. <laughs> And you pay for heat, water, and trash? Uh, so V for me, G. Oh, owner pays for heat, water, and trash. We ain't got to worry about that. Okay, that's not bad. Heat, water, and trash? Yeah, but keep my bills low. I'll give you your thousand dollars a month. Two hundred fifty dollars if you have a dog. This one was a thousand. This one was a hundred bucks additionally a month for your pet. I was like a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars? He ain't paying no rent. <laughs> He ain't paying no rent. He ain't paying nothing. All he's doing is opening his mouth and drinking water every day. That's the life I should be living. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here mad about dogs. Mad about dogs. Just turn into another 
three hour episode. Hey, bro, <laughs> we got to do. You got to do what you got to do. You know, we got to nice. do. I'm about to rent this house in Royal Oak for nine hundred dollars a month. Nine. Four bed, four bed, three bed. Mm-hmm. For how much? Nine hundred dollars a month. When you moving in? <laughs> Want to be my roommate? See, I'm gonna have to move to the to the east side office then. No, the strip though. Yeah, they they have they have an office in Troy. Offer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move move out to Troy. What'd you say? He said, I'm off the strength, though. Mm-hmm. You're moving in. But if they have this red in this apartment, we are, I'm coming in with a paint bucket. You said they have that wet with the wet. They have a red, I'll show you, they have a red, like, bathroom. <laughs> Is that a red bathroom? Look at that. I'm coming oh, in with a paint bucket. Off the strength, bro. I'm thinking, I need all that. I'm coming in with a paint bucket. I'm coming in with some white. I don't know, maybe not white, but like a off white. I forgot Livonia was a place. That was the place where the 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 the, uh, the people called the police on that one black guy at the TCF thing. 